Seems fitting with the graveyard coming up on screen there. Hey, how you doing, everybody? I'm stupid. I forgot to do something. <laughs> Start giving me a minute. <clears throat> are you my brother, Rex Racer? <clears throat> you are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Went ahead and got all this done beforehand and forgot to actually enable it. Like a smart person. Enjoy this hot, hot harpsichord, baby! Got it. Got it fixed. As it was saying, uh, I forgot to do something. I'll be right back in a minute. I had everything set up for this. Uh, and forgot to actually set it up like a smart person. What if Robot John is the real John? Ah, oh, thank God. I can take a break because Beep Boop will do it for me. Perfect. You should notice that in about five minutes. All right, so how y'all doing? It's time for some Adam's Family Values, working on game clearing. We have to go type in a gigantic password to start. It will take a hot minute, but we'll get it going. Uh, but first, I do believe I owe someone the Wisdom of Duke. Who do I owe that to? That's the Dark Overlord. It's not Overlord, it's Overroard. Here you go, Dark. Where am I? I think Duke's a little sleepy, too. I think it's a sleepy day for everybody. Alright, let's type in this password. Oh, yeah. Okay, this screen's coming back to me now. All right, let's see here. We got 7 V 9 HL S1 colon. And there's no screen wrap. Uh, G colon Y. That's the first half. <laughs> GY. 1F. Cow 5C4. NMC8. That is the... Oh, why is there a third row? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. Uh, do I just press start? Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> got a little worried for a second there. All right, so we've got the greenhouse key, a green key, a skull key, the stone key, one of each cookie type that we have access to currently. Half our weapons are... It's weird that they're all a half. We have a bottle of Dr. Jab's plant food and a slimming potion. And otherwise we have the journal, the musical box, and a firefly.
So now the real question is, uh, A, do I remember what I have to do next? And B, how the fuck do I heal without eating a cookie? That's the thing I'm worried about, is having to use that cookie. I remember we were in the wetlands doing stuff there, but that was dungeon five, so we're out of order on things. Let's remember the map. So I know if we go up here, we'll be in the wetlands, and we can do a bunch of stuff there. <laughs> oh, right, shit. You. Look at we got left. the slime. What? Well, friends. That's what I we got. Okay, so the slime, I believe, again. is what... We have the feet to the Sarlacc pit. So the real question is, do I remember where the Sarlacc pit was? I remember it's in a desert tile set. That's all I remember. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna leave and see what happens. That's time to look at chat. Actually, you know what? I'm curious about something. This might not be a good idea, but it's one we're gonna do. What happens if I get a game over right now? What will my health and equipment status be at? Will that actually be better than the situation we were in? It's the exact same situation we were in. Crap. Okay. Not great. So we've got to deal with our low attack, short range, to deal with as many things as we can to get some health back. But of course, nothing wants to drop any health, because that would be useful. And Granny's not going to give us any new cookies anymore. Because she's in the next location, because we gave her the cookbook. So wherever she is, she has the next cookie type. The next story progress is where you met Fweep earlier in the desert. Oh god, do I remember how I even got there at this point? Uh, let's see what we can do. Because that's where the Sarlacc pit was. Still don't know what we're supposed to notice, John? I mean, you gotta find it. I'm not gonna just tell you. That would ruin the surprise. Yeah, where's the fun in that? Exactly, you know what's up. I could also do the slimming potion bit right now, you are correct, but uh, I don't know if that gets me anything useful other than the way to the mansion, which I can't do shit with because we don't have a key yet. I think the thing is how lovely everyone is. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Everyone's very lo- Oh, that's not right. Everyone's very lovely. Hope you're all having good days, everybody. Do I want to fight you? Maybe I did not want to fight you. I really need something to drop some skulls. Or to find an A. Neither of which I've had in a while. You want a surprise? I've lost 100 pounds. Holy shit, Garland. Congratulations. Hell yeah. As long as you're not doing like a money joke, then fucking yeah, congrats. Still got a lot more to go. Hell yeah, dude. That's still great progress. Fuck yeah.
How's Luca doing? She's doing all right. Bagel is driving her nuts. Understand with both of us, because he is singing the song with people, because he is on house arrest. He can't go anywhere. He ain't allowed. He almost got his stupid ass killed the other day. So we're very upsetty spaghetti at him, and he is protesting by singing nonstop. Oh, he's cute right now. He is. <laughs> Actually, hang on. I think I got this working again. I don't think it works on this screen. Let's find out together, shall we? But John, who will fight the bears? Hopefully someone other than my cat. Let's see if this works. Hey. There's my there's my shoulder. Look at that. Look at this guy right here. Fucking just look at him. He's on his like little little cubby. Just stretched out. Just completely unconscious. Don't worry, he'll make himself known later. He absolutely will. But until then, we get a little bit of peace and quiet. For now. Where's Rosa John at? She ain't here today. Hody's over there, though. <laughs> Bagel, I will forever and eternally sing, scream the song of liberation in the voice of my people until I am freed and liberated from this warm, comfortable prison human. I will... Later, I'll sleep. Has your dream self rebelled yet? Uh, no, not yet, but more weird shit's happening there. Ah, people found the thing. People have found the thing. We got a new emote from Rhyme. Proton Paw. Angry Bagel smacked the screen. Told you it'd take about five minutes. I'm trying to think if before I do anything, where the fuck's the closest place to get like a full heal? And it might actually be that uh, area we were stuck in a while ago. Or last stream, rather. Like there was a bunch of screens we kept looping over and over. I think that has a full heal. Yeah, new rhyme emote, because apparently we have fucking 40 new animated emote slots, because Twitch went nuts. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be adding a bunch more emotes over time, and Rhyme's going to be doing a couple of them for sure. Since I'd like to try to keep the work in the community. Yeah, I know. I was surprised when I saw it was 42. <laughs> And apparently, I, oops, I can unlock another ten, two almost instantly. Uh oh, okay, John, focus a little bit here now. Wait, the bees. Where are those full heels? Oh, thank God. And then you turn the wrong way. Nicely done. And let's deal with all these. Oh, you ain't you're gonna you're gonna fuck off now? Oh, I see how it is. Come on, you two. You two motherfucker. I ain't getting out of here yet. Slight problem, the emote isn't showing up on your options. If it's not showing up on your you options, refresh your, your stream. Your stream. Mm -hmm. That's just how it does it. Mm -hmm. It just does that sometimes. Oh, that's not. What is. 
That's full what? item heal. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Interesting on that. You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Now, how can I get to the desert from here? You mentioned last stream that you guys are buying a new tracking collar for Bagel. Is it any different from the previous options that broke? Yes. Yes, it is. It's the same company, but it's going to be like, it's way smaller, so he won't hate it as much. So I think that's probably the best option we got at this point. But also, uh, I'd rather he just stay in, but I, I don't think it's an option, because he literally... Are you streaming at 720p, not 1080 right now? What? Oh, don't tell me I've been streaming at 720 for the last couple weeks. Ah, shit, I am. Fuck. And I can't change it without going offline. Shit. I set up the 720 whenever we did the last race thing, and I never fixed it. Well, shit. When's the last, what's the last thing we even did with that? It's a quick fix, yeah, but it's not, it's a fix I can't do without taking the stream down. And I'm, I'm just going to just keep the stream as is. And we'll just, the rest from here on out will be back to proper. This is retro, I'd let it slide. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking the same way. It's been going on for at least a couple months. Oh my god, really? Hang on, let me, when's the last time we did something that I would have flipped that down to 720? Provided the spreadsheets up to date. It is. Oh yeah, oh it's been a while. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> that was January 10th, the Shuffler gift pile. So it's been over a month. I've just left it at that shit. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> a whole month, and this is the first time I caught someone actually pointing it out. Professional streamer, baby. It's almost like other shit's been on my mind. I mean, to be fair, you've had an insane couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Down is where the hoarders were, so it's not that way. Up there is... Shit, what is up there? I have not used the slimming potion yet. It's still in my inventory. I'm just trying to remember where everything is since it has been a week. And Jesus Christ, what a week it has been. For those who did not know, Bagel went missing for a couple days. And that started during last week's Adam's Family stream. So that was fun. So yeah, I don't really remember most of uh, most of last week on purpose, I guess. This doesn't seem right, but what is this square for? Just trying to remember everything at this point. Oh, perfect. Well, we're here. Which button was talk? There we go. Hey, fatty, drink this. Glug, glug, glug. I'm slim, I'm slim, yippee! 
Oh, you did, actually. All right, well, bye. Transmission Express. And that puts us... Ooh, all the way up here. Okay. Oh, I didn't think of... Didn't think of that filter. Sorry, Zen. <laughs> see okay cool someone asked what happened to bagel that he lost his eye we don't know he lost it when he was uh four months old because we adopted him at five or six and uh they had kept him in for the surgery because uh when they took him in because apparently the eye had been damaged it wasn't usable but they're originally gonna leave it in but there was like i think they said a 30 percent chance of cancer developing if they did they're like some like non-zero percent chance so they said they just decided to take the eye out anyways so that's why he got his eye removed then, but he's since we've had him, he's only ever had one eye. We don't know what caused it. Like our assumption is some some vehicle or something cuz he's scared of vehicles. Which is another reason we weren't super worried about him being outside because like he knew not to be around vehicles. <laughs> Nothing wants to drop anything, huh? All right. He is a pirate. That's why we call him Big Boss Bagel, because, you know, the eye patch. That's why so many people draw him with said eye patch. More rocks. And I assume this is going to get us to the mansion, but we can't get in because Gomez lost the key. You stand at the entrance to a petrified wilderness. Everything from the smallest shrub to the largest oak tree has been turned to stone. Isn't that why you named that other cat you briefly adopted Eva? Yeah, I think that might have been their name originally, but yeah, I think we did. There's Lurch. Hello. Mm. What is it, Lurch? Mmm. You mean you split up with Thing over an hour ago so you could search the area more quickly? Mm. And you can't find Thing anywhere? Mm. You mean you think Thing may have found a way into the garden and may be in great danger? Okay, glad we had this talk. <laughs> Make sure it's the exact same thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Lurch. Glad we chatted. I want you to LP Balan Wonderworld. Why? <laughs> oh, hey, Grandma. What What are you doing here? I made these new cookies especially for you. They are called Crumble Cookies. Guaranteed to loosen all your cavities. Want to try some? Absolutely. Wow. Here you go. I hope you choke on them. Don't forget to keep your eyes peeled for anything I may find interesting. I should have used the other cookie to fully heal then. So what What do crumble cookies do? She didn't even say. Let's see if you have any more dialogue. You're just going to yell at me for wanting more. Yeah, just yelling at me. Okay. Do you talk like Lurch when you just wake up? I do usually do a lot of... Uh, when I wake up. So that tracks. They loosen your cavities. Were you even listening? I mean, okay, I heard that part. Now I'm assuming Lurch is blocking the way in. But he said the garden. He doesn't, like, literally mean go back to, like, the green area, does he? It's 
rereading this to make sure I didn't miss any hint here. We found a way into the garden and maybe in great danger. Which I would assume is there, but I don't have any way in that I could see. Hmm, this cracked part of the wall looks weaker than the rest. What could we use to break it down? Well, there's our way in. We could use Lurch. <laughs> Lurch could break it down. No, I couldn't. No, surely there must be another way. Hmm. Well, if you insist. Hmm. Okay, I'll take your prize bowling ball. I now have Lurch's bowling ball. All right. Now I can break these walls I've been seeing the entire game. Boom, there we go. All right, now we can destroy all those crack walls we've been seeing through that the entire game. Finally, because they've been hiding a bunch of healing items and stuff between those, so that is good to see. That is a door. That seems to be locked. Oh, there's, there's a cooldown on the bowling ball, too. Oh, and it doesn't have to be touching the wall. I just have to huck it. All right. So it's a permanent projectile. That doesn't cost anything. All right, that's actually pretty sick. Hell yeah. And that must be the door I needed Gomez's key for. So unfortunately, still can't make any progress. But at least now we can get in there. I'm assuming this dialogue's the same. Yep. Randy's gonna be here for a bit if we need to get more cookies. What is the range on this? Well, it would help if I didn't hit anything. Oh boy, okay, now we got a bit of a problem. So it looks like it does the least amount of damage a normal zap would do, but it, uh... Oh, you bastard. But it does have a pretty long cooldown. At least it makes a sound. Have Bagel attack the walls? Uh, might he might not hit hard enough. He'll hit it enough, he just won't hit it hard enough. Find something we can hit with this. Damn it. Every time I think I've figured out your movement pattern, I always get it wrong. It does hit pretty hard from what it looks like. I would hope so. It's a freaking bowling ball, but... It just seems like it's helpful to have more than anything at this point. So I just went back at low range with my electricity. Does your health determine your shock range? Yes, unfortunately it does. So now that my I'm under... Th Wait, where the fuck am I? This is a different spot. I can't even read the sign. Who did the Proton Pie mode? That would be Rhyme. Or Prime Explorer in chat. 
She's done a couple of our animated emotes before, such as beef, the dancing beefaroo, so. So you would recognize the art style from that. If I can get one more skull, I'll get my range back to where, to at least green. Ah, oh, thank God, at least for a little bit longer. Okay, so we're gonna stairwell here. Get out of the way. Whiff. Okay, so the only thing here is the stairwell. You can always check the emote to see if the artist has been placed on it. Uh, I believe she... Oh, she has accepted. Never mind. Okay, so it is there. Because uh, artists usually have to, like, click to accept getting credit on their emotes. So. Crumbler cookies are specialty cookies that reset their menu every week. This week, the cookies flavors are lemon cheesecake, classic peanut butter, chocolate cake batter, iced oatmeal, and a brand new one, Trey Lesh cake uh, cookie. Sally John, it's only in a, it's, it's only a state store. There are only not over 900 stores in the States. Zug... Uh, Thank you for being very helpful today. I asked Rhyme, I'm like, hey, you want to do a bonk emote? And she came back with three options, and I kind of love all three. One was Electron Gen, one was Bagel, and one was Beefaroo. And I almost want all three. <laughs> So I think I call that this one Paw, and then I can probably do uh, the Gen one with the actual Bonk, or we could do the Beefaroo one. Yeah, 41 slots, so I mean, yeah. We, we don't have a shortage at the moment. This looks like this is probably... Wait, is this Dungeon 5? It's the same fucking layout. It's Dungeon 4! Okay, cool. So one we have not done yet. I went and bought Persona 3 off the eShop on the Switch on Saturday after seeing Tim play a bit of it. I, if I write a feature on it, I'll give you and Tim a shout-out for introducing me to the game. I first saw you play it last week, John. Oh, rad. Oh, thank you so much, Alternate, if you do that. Trailash Three Milks is a very moist sponge cake flavor common for Mexican celebrations. Ah, okay. The Jin Bong with a baseball bat? Yo, Prime, you cool with me showing the, the line work for these three? Since I think that's still in our chat history. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, I'm not gonna do it unless you say it's okay, because it's your work. Go ahead, lol. Okay. This was this was the line work I was sent for the three emotes, the three emote takes. We needed a bonk because we, I mean, we don't have one. And I was like, oh, I also don't have any emotes of Jen, so I was like, oh, that's perfect. But the bagel one was too cute, and the beefer one makes me laugh every time. So, so I almost want to do all three of them. <laughs> Three bonks for three different reactions. Yeah, exactly. Nothing wrong with having a bunch of bonks. You never know when you need multiple bonk types. You know, I'm okay with my beef root being tenderized before I eat it? No. No, 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 don't. Knowing this community, John, you might just need all three bonks. Y yeah. Shit. Uh, million dollar question. What do I want to do here? Do I want a chance going through? How close were we to? We were not even remotely close to a heal. Or the, the, the one heal we know about. But where is the water bottle emote at? Oh, you're right. We don't have a fucking water bottle emote. We don't have any water emote. 
I looked up, your crumble cookies are basically your screen nukes, and they are on par with your green lightning in terms of damage. Okay, so not great, but not terrible. You should have everything you need for Dungeon 4. I figured as much. If we were already able to do Dungeon 5, we had to be good for Dungeon 4. Look how happy Fester looks, though. It's the happiest I've ever seen him. Probably because he knows he's about to go kill some shit. Jen can be the standard bonk, Bagel's the playful bonk, and Beefroo's the goofy bonk. I mean, yeah, I mean, we could do that. Like I said, with however many emotes we, slots we have because of Twitch, like, we can do a lot of animated emotes. I just need the ideas. Federal Portal Agency, portal's under construction. Keep out. Not great. Not a great sign. Do you have any plans for a nodding emote for, like, yes or no? Why, why did I think... Why did I thonk? Why did I thonk? Why did I think we had one already? No, I must have been thinking of Bahrain's thumbs up. Yeah, we don't have a yes or no. Rhyme, if you want. <laughs> Rhyme, if you want to start working on these, by all means. A no would actually be not a bad idea. Although we do have a yes, yes, yes emote and a no emote, so it's like just animated versions of that. John overthonking? I'm always overthonking. Oh, it's a maze. Alright, so I don't know which one is and isn't gonna be a portal. Until I walk through them. Okay, so far it's right, left, and what the fuck is that? I now have a gold coin. Missed. We don't have pancakes. What, we, what would we do with a pancake emote? What would it be? A thinking emote's a good idea. We don't have one of those. Oh, where did I go? Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, let's eat that cookie. Dream watch emo? Do we need, do we need emo for that? What would it be? It would be cherry at that point. These are all just fireballs, so those are all useless buttons. Oh, damn, I didn't think I was standing on it. These working? Yes, they are. We have Proton Think in the sub Discord. Isn't that one of the follower? Man, I don't remember my own freaking emotes. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's that one, the one of the uh of Robert Cop. Right. Talking about emote ideas? What about like a nom emote? You have a sip emote, so I think that might be a nice little idea. Duke's gotta have an emote for sure. Is there a proton stare? There's not a stare one, is there? Like glaring. Which is funny, you think I would have had that by now. Well, at least with all the enemies dead now, I can just try out the portals. 
There's only one left to try. They all just send me back here, huh? So unless there's a hidden fifth one, these are all useless. Oh, I mean, there's the side-eye one. Yeah, that's true. We do have that. Just Duke Nukem rising up and down, like when he tells us wisdom. Oh, I kind of like that, because it just sounds just dumb enough to be funny. The only downside is I think there's a limit to how many frames an emote can have. I think it's like a hundred frames. These really just don't do anything, huh? Okay. It's just 60 frames. Oh, it's not even 100. Oh, boy. Okay. I remember we had that problem with the Bomberman one. Right! Right, right, right. Should I even be doing this path versus the other one? Rotten eggs. Oh. Oh, we're back in the wetlands. Oh, okay. Not what I would have expected. But you can hold a frame for as long as you want. Interesting. Big dumb idea would be making a blue circle bigger and bigger look good in 60 frames. Hmm, I don't think we could... That, I don't think it's worth above. When will we have Proton dance? How often do I freaking dance, Green? Like, not even remotely. It's like not even worth it. I'm glad that hit, because I definitely thought I missed. I'm using this bowling ball move way too freaking much, I can already tell. So we've got two stairwells here. Is the other one going to lead back to the dungeon or somewhere else? Like, I assume where we are right now, we had to do at some point. Because there's been so many, like, buttons we can press. Oh, the stairwell could just lead up there. Oh, there's an A. Let's go get that A. That might be a full heal. How long is this game? Seven hours? So it's possible we might not beat it today. It's really likely, but it's... Oh, it's only half a skull. We made a decent progress amount last week. This week, if we don't beat it, we'll be, like, really close, basically. I think that's the takeaway. Ooh, what's that? I now have a spider's eye. Oh, that's the thing in the graveyard. All right, well, we got something of value. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this game's visuals. I didn't really have any expectations going into this. I am surprised with how well this game kind of holds up. It almost feels like, almost, feels like hidden gem territory. But it's it's got some moments and some decisions that are very not great. Like the damage range thing. It's like little things that are just like, mm, if they just tweak this little thing here or there, it'd be worth it. Things that are choices, trademark. Yeah, exactly. Ari uh, gets it. Like, you know, 
uh, your attack being to your left or to your right. Only when facing up or down. <laughs> no center. No center. Just, you know, your your right hand's the one that's shooting electricity, so that's where it's gonna freaking be. They could have done like a Goku, like he's doing like a Kamehameha or something with electricity. No, no. They gotta go for the Palpatine. The one-handed Palpatine. Okay, not a dead end, but it leads down to somewhere. We got two paths we can choose back there in that previous room. At least one of them leads to a side room we haven't been to yet. Hi, John. Just wanted to real quick say thanks for the streams. A lot has happened publicly and privately that just forced me to think about a lot of important things. It's been a treat to just kick back and get a good chuckle. I appreciate that, Fennec. Thank you. Uh, I feel you on that. I have been stressed for the last few months. So uh, I definitely feel you on the, hey, sometimes you just need a break. Your disc only head as an emote. Everyone else getting to do the same. I suggest... I should just make the emote that's the disc only logo, but then it just turns into Dan. That's what I should do. <laughs> Dan gets his own emote by proxy. Don't know what that did. Damn it. Damn stairs. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's one of these. Okay, how many times do I have to press it for it to be useful? Press number two. Yeah, they really they really did go for it, huh? Press it three times. Can we get meatball disc only emotes? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hard pass there. Back to red range. I'd like a lurk emote. Oh, we don't have a lurk emote. You're right. Who would... What alt would lurk, though? I guess we could do cherry. But who would be a good alternative for that otherwise? Goose, Goosewood, a lot of people saying Goose. Bagel, also good option. Pon Pon, good option. Don't know what that did, probably refilled my projectiles. Boy, buddy, get in your chair. Yeah. Come on, let this be a full heal. Nope, invincibility. Well, it's something. Just don't know how long I get to enjoy it. What affects his range? Because sometimes he shoots far and sometimes not. It's his health. However little health I have dictates my range. Actually, hang on. I just realized something else, too. Did I ever put that emote up? There are times I just forget. I promise to do something, and then something blanks it out of my mind, and I never remember to do it. Yeah, because Drops gave me an emote a while ago, and I don't think I put it in. It was a Pon Pon one, too. No, I forgot to do it. What the fuck was that one? Shit. It's almost like I've been so stressed and forgetting shit. It's great. Was it pout? It was pout, I think. Did I save? Tell me I saved that. 
John, you piece of shit. <laughs> Sure enough, there it is. All right, hang on. This is the John remembers to do his job stream, apparently. Here we go. That should be available in about five minutes. <laughs> Actually, before I forget, is there somewhere I could find an exact schedule that uh, isn't Twitter? I've been trying to push that side of my life for good. I actually post on Blue Sky. So if you use Blue Sky, it's on there. Um, it's on the Discord, which adds a sub Discord. And. Uh, Fuck, what was the other one? I used to post it on Facebook, but I haven't been doing that for a couple weeks, so I should probably fix that. Uh, my blue sky, pretty easy to figure out. Oh, yeah, Mastodon. I used to post it there too, but I was afraid to do that. So my, here's my blue sky for those who want that. Since that is no longer requiring a an actual like account or sorry uh, an invite to get on there now. Co-host, I was doing it on co-host too, but I for some reason I slacked off on that as well. You still use Facebook? I, some people, some people do it. Some people like only use it for that. I was surprised. Will you be posting highlights on Blue Sky now too? I can't, they don't support video yet. <laughs> Where did this put me now? Okay, I'm down the secret room. It's almost like it's hard for a person with ADHD to focus on all these social media sites. Yeah, but I have to, cause it's kind of my job. Oh, God damn it. Okay, we're in trouble. Keep an eye on your health. This is why I need to actually hire a fucking media manager. Oop. Okay, didn't think that was touching that, but whatever, game. I'm not gonna argue with you on that. Do I have Tumblr? I do not. You should hire me. Pluto, would you want to be? No. Pluto, I don't, I don't, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just... What did that do? What is this doing? I had to try it. I clearly have to figure something out, because I can't leave. <laughs> oh, wait, yes I can. Oh, it, oh, uh, I didn't expect that. The official protocol on John's social network has reposted every single tall girl image on social media. That's why Pluto can't manage it. Okay, so 
we got the spider's eye. Is that all we got in there? Now I got the gold coin too, but I haven't figured out what to do with the gold coin either. I've never even been horny on main. I'd do a great job. <laughs> Pluto, it almost doesn't matter that you've been horny on main. Uh, you have been horny on main. I feel like your reputation precedes you at this point. So you don't want more hot women in your feed? I have enough hot women in my feed because I follow enough artists from the community and also my artist friends. And even my own freaking wife retweets titty art half the time. So it's like, I don't even need to worry about shit. I got plenty of uh, 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 hot girl shit on my fucking feet as it is. Uh, let's go to the, where's the right, the screen we technically were on. You say that as if you are not a hot girl on your own feet. That is just because of the artists in my community, that is all. You always get a lot of whatever the hell I'm retweeting if you need more dudes. I know you don't. I'm, I'm good. I don't need more dudes. <laughs> Besides, I got, I got fucking Jasper and Drops covering that aspect <laughs> anyways. The social media uh, manager might be able to get you a sponsorship to get those bras produced. Why do we need to make the bras? <laughs> So this stair takes us to Gomez. Okay, so we're back in the starting area here. Uh, where did you lose that key again? There's a gate not far from here. A gate which I believe is the only way into the mansion. Gate's locked. You want me to find a horde of blah, 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 blah. No. We already have the key. Unfortunately, I tripped and dropped in the key in this pool of clean, pure water, which is deadly to we twisted and thoroughly spooky atoms. So neck to find a way to retrieve the key while you stand there and do nothing. Well, I wouldn't exactly say nothing. I thought I might pop off for a round of golf, but you're you have the gist of it. Come to think of it, it's been a while since we had an oops tweet from Luca. I thought we had one last week. I've just realized if you let Pluto be your social media manager, she would start a GoFundMe for the boob job money. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Is it sad that I think the bra jokes have been overdone by weeks now? Oh, weeks, that's surprisingly kind. That wasn't an oops tweet that she lasted? Oh, never mind then. When have I ever been irresponsible? Uh, mm, uh, mm, mm, um. I think chat chat's doing the better job than I could at this point. <laughs> See, I don't need to do shit anymore. <laughs> uh... All right, being kind to Pluto and not actually giving her shit for once. What would you actually do if I made you my social media manager? Here's your chance. This is your interview right now, Pluto. I'm putting you on the spot. If you had the chance to be my social media manager, what would you use the account for? What would you be posting? And give me an elevator pitch, exactly. There'd be so many pictures of Bagel, you don't get it. I'd be asking you to put hats on him and send pictures to me to post. 
So what you're saying is you're gonna make Reese jealous because she can barely get Diggle to wear a hat. And you're gonna make me have to deal with pissing off my own cat by making him wear all these hats. Hire Pluto. Oh, that sold some people. Oh, Pluto, you might actually have done a good job on that one. Vote Pluto for social media manager. <laughs> Hashtag give Pluto a job. John, hire me so that Pluto doesn't get the job. Wow. Wow. Okay. Hire Pluto and then fire her five minutes later for the bit. That's mean. I wouldn't want to do that. When it comes to work, I don't want to fuck anyone around like that. I give her 11 minutes. Man, some of y'all are savages. God damn. Okay, so this room doesn't currently seem to do anything. Well, that almost looks like it's gonna open up to a cave at some point, or maybe that's how I get the, uh, the gate keys around here. No, you got you got some people on your side here, Pluto. You actually do have a decent amount of people on your side. Here's the real thing, though, is like, yeah, I kind of. Oh, well, Gex is advertising too now. Might as well throw my hat in. As your social media manager, I would make sure notifications go out uh, for not only when you go live on streams, but any event you be going and fun posts to get your community involved with fun interactions on topic and such. Everyone's kind of all over the board on this one. People are going to end up actually submitting resumes to me at this point. I don't have any method to act. So here's the problem. I don't know what the going rate is for, like, a social media manager at this point, let alone for a freaking content creator. But the thing is, if we are doing this new channel and stuff like that, we're going to want to have someone managing a lot of aspects like that, be simply because, like... I've got ADHD and it's unchecked at times, so sometimes it doesn't it shows itself at bad points, so I need someone who's more responsible than I can be at times to handle some shit. So it's a tough it's a tough argument point. Pluto is genuinely good at being responsible. I mean I can believe that. As much as we like to tease Pluto about it, I know they actually are an actual responsible adult because I know they work a freaking normal job and they still have it, so like they're clearly doing something right. That's weird. <laughs> How is that weird? I wish you could help John with social media stuff, and I work part-time in retail along with Go Nintendo. Yo, like, I, I appreciate you guys all being like, hey, I want to help you with this, but like... Oh shit, yes, Autumn, please, please email me. My god, send me an email, like, right now so it's in my freaking work inbox. And I'll send you more to work on. But like, yeah, like the thing is, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how to move forward with everything right now, and I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me in that regard. And it's just, it sometimes is a bummer. I always looked at myself as the reluctant leader in a way, never wanting to be the one that actually has to do all the work. I'm just the one who will do it if no one else fucking stands up. 
which was a lot. Which was a lot and very often, unfortunately. Uh, so... See, I don't know. It's just I'm just handling, piecing together how to approach things here with everything else that's going on in my life. It's like Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. I do say dot 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 a lot. One step at a time, John. No one minds if it takes time. We're here for you. Would you say you were more a leader if you had a team of leaders to lead with you as equals instead of being the sole leader? I would rather have someone else that uh, I can be like, hey, I'm not capable right now. Can you take the reins? And I feel like, with the exception of certain things in my life, I rarely get that. There are definite exceptions. Colosseum stands out first and foremost as like the, hey, I can I could be literally like sick in bed, unable to do anything, and Colosseum would be perfectly fine. That that's one thing I trust. The people that I have working with me there, trust them with my life. But then there's other things that I work on that I'm just like, mm, I'm gonna have to be the one to figure this out, aren't I? <laughs> John, that's not safe. I'm aware. <laughs> I am very aware. One button. And that's it. One button. <laughs> well, it definitely sounds like that you want a second in command, and with everything that's happened last month, you kind of lost that second in command that you originally had, at least for the YouTube side of things. Uh, uh, yeah, kinda. Even Jules? Jules always surprises me. He is incredibly competent, but he somehow has the air and has given everyone the idea and opinion that he doesn't know shit. And he's probably, he's the fucking smartest person in the room half the time. Jules always impresses and surprises me. He just also is like me and likes chaos maybe a little too much. Uh and throws people off. But yeah, no, 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 Jules, Jules is one of the people I can definitely trust to be like, hey, can you handle this? And he's like, I'm on it. Would you trust Tyler? Why are you making me fucking rat out my friends right now? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't have any cookies right now, do I? Shit, no, I don't. You are in like the worst spot, dude, come on. Oh, that sucks. I cannot reach you because you keep... There we go. Would you trust Proton John? There are times I don't trust John. <laughs> John's made some decisions in his life. We've had some talks. Steven is trustworthy when awake. Steven is one person I trust with getting anything done, correct? Steven has the unfortunate same issue that I do of, you know, workaholism, so he kind of gets a little too caught up in things, but he's starting to piece that together now. So he's got that under control now for the most part. Or has gotten better about it, at the very least. Are those talks your dreams currently? Um. Uh, see, I don't know. Cause, cause if you, okay, if you look at it that way, then shit's weird. Cause if, cause keep in mind, I show up as a character in my own dreams and it's when I'm not me. So that implies some weird things if you look at it that way. Cause like, I'll be Claire in the dreams, and suddenly I- Oh my god, Drake. <laughs> oh -ho! Oh -ho 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 -ho. 
Mod room's been busy while I've been playing. <laughs> Look, I gotta get the timer right. That's fair. That's fair. He's working on the timing for a possible e animated emote. But yeah, Fury, uh, if the the talks in my dreams would imply some interesting things because I'm talking to myself usually when I'm Claire. So that'd be, that, that implies some interesting things at that point. Like that I can't have a conversation with myself unless I'm someone else. And that I want this letter A right now. How the hell am I going to get that? God, oh, you know, Halo fuck Reach. you. Man. I've been wondering for a while, but how much agency do you feel like you have in your dreams anyway? Like, do they feel like you're the one making the decisions for what you do, or do they feel like you're just watching a cutscene? I feel like the things I'm doing in my dream are things I would think to do in the moment. It's just the moment is weird, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Because it still follows the weird-ass dream logic of like, all right, I got wings and a sword. I guess I gotta go fight something. But at the same time, it's like, okay, uh, if I was in this exact position, what would I be doing? Oh, it would be this. Oh, I'm at a convention? All right, I, well, I should probably, you know, like, head home, head back to the room and, like, drop off stuff. And, like, that'll happen. It's just there'll be also other weird shit happening in the dream at the same time. So it's not fully lucid, but it's also not running on its own. It's like a weird in-between. I have conversations in my dreams with myself all the time, but I don't know if it's I'm me or just talking to me. I mean, I have conversations with myself all the time, like when I'm off stream. Like I'll just sit down and be like, all right, how do you think that went? Or like, how do I think that went? Like, eh, it probably went all right. Like, what if we did this, this, this? Like, oh, I guess we could try something like that. Like that kind of level of like self-introspection. But I've always done that. Like I've done that since I was a kid. I'm glad I'm not the only one who does that. Yeah, I know a surprising amount of people that do do that. Getting into arguments with yourself is fun until it comes down to fisticuffs. Oh, try it when you're in the car. <laughs> That's when it gets fun. Don't actually do that. But there's definitely been points I've wanted to punch myself when in, when reflecting. You're like, you stupid son of a fuck. Why'd you even do that? I'm like, well, I thought it was the right idea. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it fucking wasn't. Okay, that button's already pressed. But I haven't been here before, right? I feel like I've done just about everything in this area except for the dungeon, and I can't do the dungeon unless I go to the desert. I was trying to go up. Or find whatever transitions into the next area, but can't seem to get that. Have you ever partitioned your mind in two to have a thought argument on a topic? If you haven't, I would advise against it. No, I've never done that. Do not worry. Talking to yourself like that is just a clear sign of ADHD, especially if you do it out loud while pacing around in place. I don't do it while pacing around in place. If I'm doing that, I'm extremely stressed about something, which I guess that happened when Bagel was missing, so I guess there was that. I was once told the first sign of someone being crazy is that they're talking to themselves. I was a habitual self-talker when I heard it. Needless to say, it affected how I viewed myself for years. The irony is, like, the self-talking is what got me good with talking to you guys. Like, straight up talking to myself and just being like it got me used to not having feedback like it's different working a crowd versus like working a crowd on the internet because a crowd you can hear people respond in time you can play off of people in time stream has a delay YouTube has no response until the video goes up so you have to learn how to talk to yourself essentially so it's kind of part of the job here honestly
And you're saying that we're only figments of your mind? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not gonna go that far. How? I feel like, god damn it, half these things feel like I've already pressed them. I can't even reach that one. I knew, I was waiting for the wake up to show up. I knew someone was gonna do it. Have you ever practiced a conversation where you're trying to be both sides of the conversation? Yeah, that's called just playing devil's advocate. Straight up. I've heard from a bunch of content creators that talking to yourself is basically the only way they got to be good at making videos and streams. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Because if you think about it, you kind of got to be a little crazy to work in this field in the first place. I don't mean like literally crazy, but I do mean like you got to you gotta have a specific mindset. And sometimes that mindset may be a little unhinged. Maybe a little. Do you ever talk to chat when you're not streaming? Mm, I don't think I've done that. The only time I've done that would be like when we're doing a YouTube video and I say like, oh chat, if you like respond with this and I'm like, oh wait, this is not a this is a video, not a stream. A little neurodiversity is needed for, for the job as a treat? I mean I guess if you word it that way. Unhinge your jaw for me? Yeah, that was a good stretch, thanks. Ah. Oh. Yeah, no, that did feel good, thanks. Need the stretch. I feel like the engaging part with a real-life audience is just public speaking as a whole. It's really nervous sometimes from person to person. I mean, yeah, that's kind of how it works. But like, like I said, the difference here is that you don't get immediate reaction or you don't see the person. Like, it's a different kind of like reading you get off of someone versus when you're doing it in a public speaking situation. And I'm back in Dungeon 4. I am back in Dungeon 4. Jelby's smelly, sodden, stinking sewers. I don't have any cookies, do I? Oh boy. Okay, this is gonna be fun. How many rooms do I have to worry about? What's with this game and making the conversation be very personal? Uh, yeah, it just happens. Game clearing, if I've noticed anything, has this weird habit of being like, the game clearing streams in particular, like, personal stuff always comes up, either from me or the CoComs. It's never intentional, per se, but it always does seem to be something that comes up no matter what. Not necessarily a bad thing, it's just it depends on the subject matter and the time and the place. You know how it is. I found the missing button yet? No, but I'm also in dungeon four, not five, so. Like, I know where, what's his nuts? I know that, who has it, I just need to remember how to get back down to it. <laughs> shit, ah uh, shit, and the real problem is now we're out of cookies and I'm back to low range. Need a heal. I really need a heal. Less constant topic changing from game switching or stuff. So there's more time to wander to personal social. I mean, that would make the most sense, Wario. But it's just funny that it was consistent for game clearing for the longest time of just like, okay, what stream's gonna have like the weird thing happen? And it was almost always game clearing. Okay, not what I expected. Oh, where am I? Okay, this looks like Centipede. And that's because it is. So they just hit references to like all these classic arcade games in here, because we've already seen Pac-Man. But this one doesn't have any healing items? Or do I have to kill the centipedes? Shit. 
Shit. Damn it. No, no healing items. Crap. Pac Man would at least had healing items. My ADHD mind has decided that High Rewards Definitive Edition is my new hyper focus. It's honestly been really chill just knocking out adventure maps. That's fair. I actually did that for quite a while. I was just like, hell yeah, let's just let's just play something, turn off brain. Brain off, great time. Damn, I was really hoping this was gonna lead somewhere with health. I mean, actually, has anybody has no healing hands? I mean, I guess. Is that really all that led to? Ah, damn it. I like. There's a bunch right there. Like that could be healing items we need. But I don't know how these fucking buttons work. He says as he accidentally seems to solve the fucking puzzle. All right, sick. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this one does. Oh, baby, come on, please be health. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, it's something. It wasn't full heals, but it was part heals. Come on over. Come on over. Okay, nothing's dropping health. Which sucks. I have a feeling I am leading myself towards a boss. I'm really worried I'm leading myself towards a boss. Mine's American Euro Truck Simulator, only game I'm actually trying to get achievements in. Well, I mean, Euro Truck Simulator is pretty low key for like for what it is. It's exactly what people like fans of that genre want, but at the same time, it's like it it doesn't require a lot of mental commitment other than like drive truck good. I... Well, at least it wasn't a boss, but I don't think this has really helped. And now, because all the enemies are reset, I have no fucking clue what areas I have and haven't been to at this point. But I absolutely feel like I've been here before. It's soon gonna be time to bring out the map. Peggy, I appreciate it, but unfortunately your advice is not gonna help me at the moment because I don't have the cube yet. So the the walkthrough you're following is unfortunately not in tune with what I'm at at the moment. I definitely have to have been here before, right? Why does this whole area have to look so samey? Oh my god, and it's all in the same square of wetlands! Yeah, I know I have the goo gun for the Sarlacc pit, but I haven't 
I couldn't remember where the fuck the Sarlacc pit was other than in the desert. And then I got whisked off doing other stuff, like we end up in Dungeon 4. We went one way to get to Dungeon 4, and then we ended up in a completely different spot. Crap. Uh, they're back. Oh, they're so far back to get Grandma's cookies. This feels like Zelda 2 levels of Lost. I think this is pretty advanced Lost right now. Yeah, because this is where Jib, uh, Jib is, but I don't have anything to help him with. I have the spider eye, and I have a gold coin, neither of which are going to help him. So I think of anything, I am going to have to go to the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, because here he is right here. All right, we got to go find that Sarlacc. Well, I think we're also at break time, too, though, to be fair. So what does that mean? I think I should just go find Gomez, because I think I can get to Gomez pretty easily. If I get to Gomez, then I know where it is, which means I would know where the password is. There's Gomez. How low my range is. There we go. At this point, at the very least, let's get a password from it. And then we can just basically loop back the exact way we went before. <laughs> I have the exact same level of health, too, from last time. It's just this time around, I don't have any extra cookies. All right, there's our current password. But you don't have to write it down yet unless something happens. I love that the dialogue is he 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 he. Oh, it's me 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 because he, he only talks like little meeps. Once you're like me 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 like he talks like uh, Beaker from the Muppets. Don't worry, John. I too sometimes hate how low my range is. Oh wait, you're talking about the game. Ignore that. God damn it, Gwen. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, too, hate how low my range is. Paging Mr. Herman. Paging Mr. Herman. Alright, uh... Let's go to break. Ramnit with a gift sub bomb. Clockwork Zen with a gift sub to Mr. Redstone 54. Gokai Orange with a gift sub to... Mm. 
That's a lot of M's, but there's a couple N's in there, too. <laughs> Tari with a gift sub to Temp Pluto. And Gamer Mooney with a gift sub to the Lone Sand Slash. Epper Live for 77, Esper Magic for 68, Cool Bond for 29, Frozen Hunts for 93, Just King Dion for 86, Hugo Sheehan for 110, Poppy Yoshi for 77, St. Patty for 39, Aaron the Baron for 107, Anastasia Zahn for 121, Thunder Creates for 20, Dark Dream 7 for 106, Luke S. 24 for 33, Gamer Girl Life 2108 for 23, Ryoto 87 for 88, I beat. I grew up with this game and never beat it. Well, hopefully, we'll you get you some closer here. Closure here. I'm working for it. Uh, Disillusion seventeen for forty eight. Wolf Link three seventy for eighty seven. Shining one one eight for twenty eight. Salem the Cat for fifty five. Steel Moon one two three for thirty seven. Digital Ronin forty two for eighty. Gibber Woods for ten. Portal Beard for forty nine. That Unknown Skull for sixty five. Star sixty four for sixty nine. Nice. Netha Emerald for 22, Blonde Guy Gamer for 55, Zoeism for 23, Riptide Dead, uh, Dreadfang for 79. <laughs> Thanks, Riptide. This is an interesting way of wording this. Tires all hell and will likely be going to bed soon, but I wanted to let you know, John, that you are an amazing person who inspires people to embrace their creativity in amazing ways, even if it's sometimes to your detriment. <laughs> Let's be real. It's, it's Often it's to my detriment. Ethan Nico Margashi for 69, nice. SMRT Guy 93 for 61. Blazing Dream for 11. Donna Fire for 78. Kenda Queen for 41. Zachman 103 for 38. And Cat Pyro for 106. Alongside Lilith Amuni Akasha for 90. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight. I don't know if it's part of the shuffle or not. Let's find out. I got one from Aaron the Baron. Hogan gets interrupted. that again. I love it. I fucking love it. That's great. Aaron, I might need that. <laughs> Go to break. When we come back, we'll grab some co-coms, we'll do Dream Watch, and we'll continue Adam's Family Values. See you guys in a bit. Is it to your detriment, John, or is it just your branding? Ooh. Ooh. Shit. John's branding to his own detriment? I think the answer is yes. I think that's actually correct. Alright, let's see who's joining me for CoCom tonight.
<laughs> oh, there it now works. John, the mod team is weird tonight. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. Oh, God. This combo. Let's see how this goes. Prepare for tech nerds. That's exactly why I'm like, I might regret this. <laughs> doing good. I just had to have a nice good stretch then. Ugh. Alright, well, while I'm waiting for the CoComs to join, let's do alerts and we'll slide into Art Block and, uh, or sorry, slide into Dream Talk, Dream Watch, and then uh, we'll go from there. Mistress Bird says, from one parent of a reckless furry son to another, here's hoping your day has gone well. He's been crying a lot today, but he also slept when I went down for a nap. So, or rather, I went down for a nap because he went down for a nap. So, sometimes it does feel like having an actual child. But just one that knows how to jump on your desk. Agar says, emotes. Mistress Bird says, speaking of, he's actively trying to interfere with my watching. Silly cuckoo. <laughs> You need Koo Clan? Koo Callahan? I don't know how to say that word. I can never say that name correctly. C H U L A I N N, like Koo Koo Kalain? I've always been bad at saying that one. Hello. Hello. How you doing, tomorrow? I'm doing okay. Good. Koo Kalain. Okay. It's like Kuhulen. Kuhulen, okay. Kuhulen, Kuhulen. It has multiple pronunciations? Okay. Kiranai Hideyoshi says, Hey y'all, yesterday I went to a friend's birthday party, got them the booster course pass to those Heaper Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and a fully customizable Tails figurine. And today my family and I went to a local buffet to stuff our bellies with some quality cuisine. Artistry's been getting there bit by bit. Here's to an awful adventure. Nice. Sounds like you had a good time, Kieran. I hell yeah. Uh, Garland fourteen says, "You want a surprise? I've lost hundred pounds." Which again, congratulations on that, Garland. Oh, well, Uba, oh, well, my dude says, "I'm hedging my bits and saying it's an alert that is about counting. Also, use this money to buy cookie space on Steam, as well as like some cookies or something. Or don't. I'm not your mother. I'd be concerned if you were. For multiple reasons, I feel at this point." 
All right, what was it called? Cookie Space. This is an arcade adventure about uh, shooter and set in a question mark closed space. Your task in the world is a tiny spaceship. Sh oh, so it's very similar to Asteroids. Okay. But cookie related. Gotcha. Oh, more right. interesting than Asteroids. Yeah, a little bit. Mistress Bird says, I haven't gotten to do this in a while, but I pulled a tarot card for you. It was the Hanged Man Upright, the card of sacrifice leading to change. Sometimes one must lose something to gain something better. I'm a little sick of sacrifice at the moment. <laughs> just, just gonna state that. It, so it better be something better. <laughs> please, please have it be something better. Ugh. Shining 118 says, you know the drill, caught up the birthday luck, uh, cough up the birthday luck, I assume I need it to counter my be it being my zodiac year, my family's tradition of those being bad luck years. Oof. Happy birthday, Shining. Here's hoping for some good luck for you. Who's to say the sacrifice hasn't already been made? Oh, that's kind of my point. <laughs> I think there's already been enough sacrifice the last few months. Definitely after I thought I was also losing Bagel last week. I was just like, I've had enough of this. Can I, can the cosmos calm down a bit? FoxGamer01 says, Hey there, John. A friend helped me find this dumb commercial from the 90s. And yes, it's very dumb. I hope you'll like it. Buddy Lee car? Hang on, I'm gonna make sure. I don't know if I can show this on stream. Oh, Buddy Lee Man of Action. Holy shit, I haven't seen this in forever. What was this even a commercial for? Oh, pants. Holy shit, I haven't seen this commercial in forever. That's a good one. That is a good one, Foxhammer. Username not found says, so honest question. Please don't read out loud. Uh I think I I think I kind of gave my answer on this question already. Uh, but on a scale of one to ten. Uh, hang on, I'm doing a bit. On a scale of one to ten, I'm My Chemical Romance. I think that'll answer that question. Will Peter says, hypothetically, let's say a city paid you to live in it. You know the stipulations of payment. Said city is located at the bottom of a giant pit. Deep below the surface, let's say 10 feet below, would you do it? That's 10 feet? 10 feet doesn't That's seem that... Lights. Yeah, that doesn't really seem that low, but... But like, okay, so does the pit have issues of flooding and stuff like that? Because that'd be my only concern at that point. Well, if you wanted honesty, you that's all you had to oh. say. <laughs> I'm still New Orleans. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Act. So they had a lot of flooding there, so maybe not. John's financial advisor says, John is your financial advisor. I highly recommend hiring Pluto as your social media manager. Surely nothing could go wrong there. Also, get the boob job. Forget the 2.9 million. No, I want the money. If I'm getting boobs, I want money. Evil Dear Brian says, but Miss John, what about a serve bots? You're doing fine, sweetie. Don't worry. Your, your work's always appreciated. Cassie with the sassy spice. I love your name. No message on your dono, but I just love the name. Colin the Game Boy says, no need to read this out loud. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, and Crimson Sun says, my birthday was on the 9th. Forgot to donate for that birthday luck. Gonna do that now. Happy belated birthday, Crimson. Hopefully it was a good one. I believe you already told us it was, actually, because you were chatting a while back. All right, dream watch time. Uh, I had a weird nap dream today, but I have two sizable dreams to read out here first. February 17th to 18th. I'm in the town I grew up in. It's late at night and somehow I'm playing Mario 64 in reality. A bunch of us are doing co-op Mario 64, but we're controlling Mario robots in reality. 
They're collecting power stars and trying to clear it as fast as possible, but we have to physically catch up to the Marios in reality to see what they're, we are doing in the game. My Mario dives through a window, shattering glass, and transports us somewhere. I'm now at some convention in a school with Justin Wong and my friend Jeff. We're just talking about different panels going on that we're on and how the con's going. I'm sitting on a bed for some reason. Eventually they both take off and I decide to go get a shower. The shower's in some absolutely massive bathroom and the shower is walk in with enough room for like a hundred people. Uh, I take a shower, get ready to head back and suddenly it cuts to some sort of video game. A Hulk-like caveman escapes from a lab and starts smashing fossil fuel containers. They seem to make him stronger and smarter, maybe because of that whole gas slash oil is dinosaurs thing. He gets past the back of the building and he, he escaped from and the dream shifts back to me. This is a weird looping point in the dream though because the dream pulls a weird choose your own adventure thing here. I'm on a bus with friends chatting. I get off with them, but they're heading somewhere else. So I go into the nearby house. It's my aunt's house back home. She doesn't seem to be home and I'm house sitting for them. Someone calls looking for her and I have no idea where she is. They say they'll call back later and I hang up and walk around going into the basement. My aunt's place was the first time I ever played the Super Nintendo, so I walk over to where that setup was and see the game with the caveman again. A cutscene plays out explaining the plot of the game, but for some reason it gets skipped. All I see is something about scientists recreating a caveman from oil, but a nuclear bomb hit the research center and did no damage. Cue the first stage of the game playing again, getting past the building, and... Back on the bus with friends. We all get off. They're heading off somewhere, but this time I don't go to my aunt's house. I go with them for a walk. We chat and walk down the road. I say we're walking towards my house. We're nowhere near it. And I'm walking with Calgary friends, which makes even less sense. We chat for a while until one friend, Corey, brings up this game he's been playing recently. It's the game with the caveman. Dream jumps back to that game. More of the cutscene plays, but still gets skipped, so I don't see it all. This time, uh, I see he's still smashing stuff to make- I see that he is smashing stuff to make himself smarter so he can make a time machine to go back to his caveman wife. The game plays out the exact same again. He gets past the first building, and this time the dream ends. So I got stuck in a time loop on that one. But at least I was able to change things during it. Then, this morning's dream. Lost most of the dream when I woke up, but extremely remember this following part. At some version of our house, uh, it's laid out like my junior high cafeteria. I go to the door to let Bagel in, and I hear a woman's voice say, He's coming. Get him in. I open the door and see our normal walkway, but Bagel's being chased by two to three skunks. I try to time closing the door in time, but he doesn't make it in. The voice says, He's there now. Go! I reopen the door just enough to let him in before the skunks get him and close it back up briefly. Or quickly, rather. Breathing a sigh of relief, I look at the door and realize there's graffiti all over it. Uh, I start prepping to clean it, but I notice that the biggest graffiti isn't scribbles, it's Nordic runes. Wait, this is a protection spell. Wait, since when could I read runes? I keep reading the runes until I hear a hissing noise behind me. Bagel brought in a snake into the house. I call out to my roommate, who that voice did not belong to, to give them a heads up and instinctively draw a sword from my hip to kill it. Looking at the snake, it looks like a mix between a hammerhead shark and a suchinoko. It's a very odd mix of snake, but it's slithering near Bagel. I go in for a strike, but Bagel blocks me. Seemingly, he wants to bat it around and toy with it. Your cat is dumb, but brave, the voice says again. Keep him safe. I try to get another swipe at the snake, but the dream ends before I can do that. So, uh, I can read Nordic runes in my dreams now. And, uh, I had a voice talking to me that I have never heard before. It is not any of the dream girls up to this point. So that was weird. Yeah, like, out of all the voices I've heard for all the characters we've had in the dreams, this was the only one, like, it was, like, trying to mimic it. It was very soft and very, like, kind of light to it. So it was like, let him in now. This is your best chance to get him. Like, it was like that. That's the closest I can get to it. And none of the other girls that have been in the dream sounded like it. So it was really weird. Very ethereal, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Hello, Deep. Hello. Why I are your pizza. Why are your dreams eternally haunted? Fuck if I know. I don't know what I did. Here we go. Uh, I'll read out this weird nap fragment I had too today. This is super out of order, so I apologize. 
Uh, trying to remember what that dream was. It was a frustrating platformer where you played as a bloodthirsty version of The Simpsons, but they all hung around each other, and one hit uh, a loading zone. If one hit a loading zone or room change, they all went that way. It was a 2D platform where you went up and down ladders and platforms. Uh, but also, I was in a haunted mini golf like resort. I was at where. I was at where, depending on the time of day, you got different animatronics, and one in particular was looking for me. Also, at the same time, I guessed it at a convention and was supposed to be on a panel, but they didn't need me or wrote the wrong time down. The guest handler was someone I knew that did Desert Bus for Hope, and him shooting me, uh, shooing me off got me to go watch a Mario Party all minigames combined into one task panel that led me up to the minigolf course in the first place. After the game, I found myself putting together furniture at a new version of home, but complaining that there were more drawers in the furniture I built at the mini golf course. That was that was the dream, the nap dream I had. So that's that's Dreamwatch. So I get these weird, like ethereal time controlling ones for my normal sleep, and then I get like on a mini golf course for for naps. So shrug. How similar was that new voice to the voice that tells you that your chances of winning are almost none voice from Persona 5? I don't remember that voice at all. Because it has been a while. But like I said, it was like light, airy, and ethereal. But it was very much like... It was very much like calling out things like, You need to do this now. Open it now. Oh, yeah, hang on, he's back there now, go for it this time. Like, that kind of deal. Brain's haunted. Brain's haunted. So how you two doing? I have pizza. Nice. I had a hot pocket earlier. I kind of want a pizza, I'm not gonna lie. So you heard the literal voice of reason? I I don't know. Would a voice of reason say my cat is stupid? Actually, yeah, probably. Uh, that is reasonable. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna withhold statement on that. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep. Fair enough. So I guess that's the voice of reason. I have a theory on who the voice is, but it's so dumb and out there, I'm not actually stating it on stream, because it's so dumb and out there. And would also bring up some interesting questions about other aspects of the, the dreams lately. And this is different from your streams normally? Something being dumb and out there? Uh, I guess you got me there. Oh shit, this is the loop that grandma was in. She's not going here. Well, now I'm curious. Darn. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this without it se without me sounding like absolutely insane. Because it plays back to my old daydreams. That's the problem. I mean, you don't have to talk about it. I don't have to, no. It's just really funny to what? say that it sounds absolutely insane, and that's exactly normal for this stream. When did this get here? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, that's so helpful to have now. Thank God. You're worried about it sounding insane now? I mean, yeah, I got some sense of, like, self-preservation. It's just a very low amount of it. I think Millennium Pigeon has it right. We already have a theory that your dreams are being invaded by an alternate universe version of yourself. So what's another crackpot theory? I guess, yeah. All right, well, this is going to sound weird, but it, make, it makes sense in bits and pieces. Um, so, it plays off the whole Valkyrie thing again. So in my daydreams, when the version of me got turned into a Valkyrie, there was a plot line where the whole thing had been planned out by the spirit of justice, and she had unintentionally turned me into a Valkyrie to kind of 
help me solve the world's problems, and I lost physical control of myself at that point. Uh, and that voice sounded a lot like that one I imagined like seven years ago. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, that's weird. That's concerning. And this is a stream. This is a dream where I also learned how to read Nordic runes. So I'm like, I'm not sure I like where this is going right now. Brain, you need to, you need to calm down a little bit, brain. So you can see why I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe you don't. Yeah, that one sounds a little weird as a theory. You can see my hesitation. These little guys are super annoying. Well, it wouldn't be as bad if I actually had full range. Or, you know, I could hit to the left. <laughs> Heard weirder, experienced weirder? I mean, I guess, sure. It just seems that we were like, hey, the spirit of justice spoke to you and told your told your cat's an idiot. I'm like, okay, that's that's neat. I think John might be able to lift my more enjoy. I can't even say the fucking hammer's name. <laughs> oh my god. Have you read Nordic Mr. Stories? No. <laughs> no, I have not. That's the thing. Granny, I need some cookies. Thank you. The crates, here is your wisdom of Duke Nukem. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Mjolnir? Okay, Mjolnir. I don't know if I can lift Mjolnir. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you're pure enough. Mm. I don't think anyone's pure enough. I don't think anyone's pure enough. Duke has no sense of time, by the way. Yeah, it's February. It's just a little early for that, buddy. It's just a little late. And it could also be that. Lift Bagel, a.k.a. Meowneer. <laughs> would be easier to lift. Uh-oh, 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 problem. Oh, there we go. All right, so I guess all we can do at this point is go find the Sarlacc pit. That really seems like our only, well, we have other options, I guess, because we do have access to the spider eye, so we can put that in the statue in the graveyard. But I feel like our best option right now is to just go ahead and find the Sarlacc pit. I guess we could do both. No, Peggy, I got that. That's what I'm calling the Sarlacc Pit. I just gotta remember the best way to access that area, because that was last week, and I feel like I just stumbled across it, basically. Because this will put us back into the wetlands. And this is back where Cousin It is. And this is where we originally got in here. So I'm pretty sure, I think it's the area directly above where my X is right now I need to go to. I think that's it. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. We basically just need to get to the desert tile set, and then we can figure it out from there. 
It's in the west area after the maze. Well, I'll try that one up there first and see what it gets me to. That's a bad idea, Montaro. Are there any suspicious dolls in a blue cloak wandering the forest you can follow? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say no to that one. Also, don't follow any clowns you find in the sewers. That also seems like good life advice, so I'll keep that in mind. Although, I'm gonna admit, probably wouldn't have followed the clown in the sewer anyways to begin with. But maybe that's just me. Alright, here we go. Desert tile set. This should be it. Yeah, it should be whatever room is straight up. Because this should also be the area where we got the marbles, I think? Nope, this is super wrong. That's the Rockies. This mansion goes everywhere. The Adams live a glamorous life, question mark. I had to check like every possibility, be like, is this the way I have to go? I don't remember. Comes are a bit quiet. I can fix that. They might have meant we're literally just not saying much. Uh, hmm. What was that tomorrow? We have. We're not hyperactive yet. Yet. That's what worries me. We know better. We know we're gonna find something and then spiral off into a random arbitrary discussion eventually. It's just a question of what. I bumped Tomoyo's mic a little bit. I figured it was something like that. Tomoyo's not on commentary often enough. I don't have like a, a proper set volume for them. That and my microphone likes to drift up and down and it varies wildly depending on that. That could also be it. This should be the Sarlacc pit. Bingo. Uh, that's better. I now have a strange black cube. Can't even Sarlacc. Can't even talk to you anymore. All you wanted to do was vomit. Okay. One more? Nope. I love that my HUD has so many empty spots for items, and I feel like we've barely gotten anything in this game. It does almost seem like you're supposed to be able to get double the health at some point. I mean, yeah, I assume I've got a couple bosses to fight to get some of these, and I missed out on one permanently, so that one's just gone. 
but the others, I feel like, I probably should have had at least one or two more by now. This game not have any music it's so quiet it has music it's just the music itself is quiet half the time here I bumped it up a little bit it's everybody's favorite snack um probably salt and vinegar chips I like just Doritos <sighs> yeah, I've gotten back into unfortunately like Oreo blizzards that was a mistake <laughs> <laughs> But they're goddamn delicious. Well, I'm not going to any cons for a while, so I'm like, cool, I can actually eat chocolate again for a bit. Fair enough. Um, if if I had just rampant access to whatever I want, I think one of the first things I'd probably reach for is um, kettle corn. Like, from the giant kettle you'd find at a fair or a, a farmer's market, kettle corn. Can I change my choice? <laughs> <laughs> um, but if we're talking, like, uh, a gas station, um, I'm either going to find the puff corn or the puffy Cheetos. It has been a long time since I've had fresh kettle corn. It's really good. And it's really bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> Most good things are bad for you. Let's be real here. I hate that our favorite flavor of chips are the same. Oh, you like salt and vinegar too, Grain? You guys can share. No, we can't. <laughs> They've only made one bag of chips clearly ever. God. <laughs> If we're not looking. We have to. We have it at my weekend job. I have access to kettle corn nine months out of the year, burned out from Trey. Wow, I that would burn me out on it too. Nah, I, I could do it. I could see that being the case. Goddamn, at that point. I love salt and vinegar too, but nothing ever trumps spicy sweet chili Doritos. Ooh, that does sound tasty. I don't think I've that, had that reminds one. me that I want to order Chinese at some point this week. Alright, so the only thing I know that I can do in the game right now that will be progress is we can go talk to Jib and free him from his bubble because we have the cube now. Doing that should give us the item we need to make progress in Dungeon 5. Damn it. Salt vinegar popcorn. Oh, that's another good one, too. Goddamn. Those, like... I forget the, the name of the brand. I think it's like Kernels or something like that. They make like a little powder you throw onto like movie popcorn. And they have like a really tasty salt and vinegar one. I like to throw on there every now and then. Yeah, I have a ranch it's a shaker. Beautiful, it's, popcorn. it's a beautiful day out. This rain is so dreary. I mean, that's how the Adams Family vibe is. Yep. Does, does it suck? It's great. Sounds like Colonel's. I figured it was. Colonel's is indeed the place. All right, hell yeah. They make a salt and vinegar topper, yeah. Or like, a, I think they call them shakers. So they make a they make a salt and vinegar shaker.
Yeah, I think I can only buy butter, cheddar, ranch, and caramel at my local store. So. The Adams Family would treat the apocalypse like a solar eclipse viewing. Honestly, probably. Yeah. I mean, don't forget the intro to his Fester's Quest where he's just like sunbathing, or sorry, moonbathing, and he sees a UFO land. He's just like, oh, cool. Friends. Well, and then he ends up having to have to fight off an alien invasion, but yeah. That Not feels like a normal Saturday for them. Don't bother with salt and vinegar pistachios. I tried them once and they pretty much mutilated my tongue. That does kind of sound disgusting. Pistachios mixed with salt and vinegar, I can't see being that enjoyable. Why did I go the long way when I could have just took the, the trans pipeline? Fuck. Well, Probably whatever. A good chat, that's why. Yeah, I guess. Well, we're here now. Kill the Santa Bee, which doesn't have a thousand legs. hundred legs. It's got four sections, that's all that matters to me. Four sections and it's a threat. Uh -oh, speaking of threats. Meow. Oh, he's leaving. Oh. He is, he's gone, he's gonna go bug mama. I remember my oh. mom once tried popping sweet corn. Then I read that popcorn is a completely different species. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all you're gonna do is burn that. I mean, I take a trans pipeline every day. It's a very efficient way to get into work at the gender factory where I produce gender fluid. God damn it. That's <sighs> amazing. That is a real funny statement. Every day Jen w or J Gwen wakes up, puts on her fucking hard hat, and goes to work at the fucking gender factory. A hard hat that, depending on the angle you look at it, it's a different color. <laughs> a rainbow-themed yeah. hard hat? Yeah, it, it used that uh, color-changing filament. To be fair, those are cool as fuck. It, it, it is actually really cool when you use that filament. What do I get? Do I get the button for helping him? Let's find out. Hello, I'm here to save you. I assume. Do I have to equip it? Strange black cube. Hmm, the cube has absorbed the spell that had me trap, er, uh, the spell that had trapped Jip. Silly me, of course. Eh, should've guessed that. Thanks a million, Fester. Yeah, about that help you promised. What help? Oh, that help. I was just desperate. I was prepared to say anything to get out of there. I didn't really mean it. <laughs> okay, just let go of my throat. Take this. It's a button. I stole it while on a, my annual spree of senseless vandalism. You may find a use for it. I now have a stone button. Let him dance. He's dancing. I love how it's an annual spree of senseless vandalism. That sounds like an Adam's holiday. Kinda does, huh? Alright, well we got a we got a stone button now. He's immune to my lightning. Now, the real question, do I remember how the fuck to get back into dungeon five? Pretty sure it was to the left of here. Hey, someone gotta inspect the gender to make sure it works. You don't want people getting defective genders. Do you know how hard that is to fix? I got a defective gender as a kid and it took so much work to get that repaired. Gotta do inspections properly. From Trans Gwender. I was gonna say, that entire thing had to be written out by Gwen. Otherwise, I'm just like, where's the HRT joke? Where's the HRT? There it is, there it is. Uh... Gotta check your gender warranty. If it ain't working, take it into the shop, get it fixed. Alexander, my day was all right. Pretty low energy, but otherwise all right. How about yours? Did John talk about how they found the Hotel Mario beta just recently? Oh shit, what? I saw I a video of that floating around, mm. yeah. I had no idea, that rules. So what's different about it exactly? Is it just the animation's different? Hello, I'm reaching out to you about your extended, your gender's extended warranty. Oh God. 
Could you imagine that in a world where trans people are more accepted? We get fucking robocalls about like, Hi, we're here to make sure that your gender's been trans correctly. The intro is pretty different? What? I have not heard about this at all. The toaster's toast bread, not toast. Oh my god. Apparently Bowser has voice lines and the instruction if you need instructions line is different. Interesting. Makes you wonder why they changed it. They're trying to put ads on the moon? That would absolutely happen. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, society sucks. <laughs> You're right. Did you hear about Tommy Tellerico selling his house? What? That I didn't hear about. That dude's house is wild. He did like a fake Cribs thing for like PlayStation Magazine years and years ago. And like that house back in like the late 90s, early thousands was wild. He had like a giant dedicated Spider-Man room and everything. Say what you will about Tellerico and there's plenty to say about Tellerico, but like I was fucking jealous as a kid. Crimson, they're trying to put ads on the Sailor Senshi. The Spider-Man room is in the photos of the house sale. It's hilarious. He's selling it for $3 million. I'm so glad the Spider-Man room is still there. Like I said, low-key, I think that's cool as fuck. But I get it. I get it. Like, it comes off weird as like a when a 50-year-old man has that room. New 2.9 million dollars gold. That was the entire thing though. That was such a waste. You could have just stopped it. Say what you will about Tommy Tallarico. You're right. I could have done that. <laughs> oh, that was a convenient despawn. No, he just walked off all the way. I just gotta wait for him to come back. And there's his friend. Oh, that was lucky. All right, this should be the room that needed the fixed button. And that's the raid from Cole. We sure freed that planet. Oh, good for you. That planet really did seem like it needed some freedom. Now, Cole, uh, is this the way the Imperials freed Alderaan, or a different way? <laughs> It'd be funny if it actually was Helldivers, too, and not actually Freedom Planet, which I'm assuming is the actual answer. Pop this sucker in. What? <laughs> I didn't expect it to like disappear, disappear. Oh, it's still in my inventory though. What? All right, I'm just confused now. Fuck it. Also, I noticed the emote. Thanks. It's, yeah, it drops. I, I, we commented because we added a new emote today, and then I realized, wait, wasn't I supposed to add the other one? And I did not. So it is, it is there now. So you've got your proper credit. Oh, why would I want? Oh, son of a. Oh, it just turns it on and off. Okay. I'm a little scatterbrained lately. I can't imagine why I'd be so scatterbrained lately. I have, you know, no fucking clue. All right, let's run some countermeasures for Cole, shall we?
Hypercall, thank you so much for the raid. Hope your stream's good. Playing some Adam's Family Values right now. Just working through it. We're in Dungeon 5 right now. We got a couple items since last time we were here. We have the Strange Black Cube. We have a Stone Button. We have a Spider's Eye and a Gold Coin. So we've made some progress. Oh, and we got new cookies, too. We've got the Crumble Cookies. But, uh... Still, still got stuff to do. I don't know how many dungeons there are. I've heard like I think it's like six or seven, and then the final dungeon. But also, shit's very out of order because we we did a bunch of dungeon five, and then eventually we found dungeon four. Four is where we found the spider's eye and stuff. Oh, that super missed. Okay. Oh, also we got we got the bowling ball. I forget if I even mentioned that, but that that we basically just have a slow but heavy projectile that breaks down walls. Okay, we've got a door and a teleporter. Which is the better idea? Uh, mm, 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 not sure if good or bad idea. If you're scatterbrained, John, then you should probably try and catch them. Not everything comes back to you like Bagel, and even then we had that situation last week. I'm just saying I'm stressed is all I'm saying, my dude. I'm just saying I could probably go for a fucking spa day or some shit. As it stands, Reese and I had Valentine's Day plans, and we never got to do them because Bagel. Bale has this uncanny knack of having something happen to him whenever we make any plans. Like, it's honestly imp fucking impressive in a twisted way. Damn it. So, we're doing our makeup dinner tomorrow. I reread this. I reread the description of Tommy's house, and some keynotes of it are mature fruit and exotic trees, solar system with newer concrete roofing, which sounds very bad. Interesting. Bagel is Murphy's Law. We really should have just named him Murphy, huh? Murphy. Murphy. Murphy's Law. Anything that will meow, can meow. Anything that anything that can meow, will meow. There we go. That's what I should have said. Alright. Hey! Is that a buttonhole? Hmm. There's a hole for a button here, but it seems like someone has stolen the actual button. This is my kind of place. <laughs> Smelly, dirty, and the target of senseless acts of vandalism. <laughs> they do reference it twice. Nice. A rush of excitement runs up your back as you see the foul sewage turning into the turning the once clean water into a cross a gross brown sludge. So let me guess, now I can get the keys because it's full of garbage. Murphy's Law is also appropriate for Robocop, isn't it? Yes, it is. Weird that it shows another entrance, but I can't get to it. I like how one of your weapons is just yeeting a fucking bowling ball. It's Lurch's bowling ball. It's nice and heavy. Nice and heavy. You turned the water into shit water. Congrats. Well, it's what the Adams wanted, apparently, so... Well, if you had backed up sewage, you kind of would want to get rid of it. Literally, the bowling ball so far is like the best item I have, because it is just huck it. It does. It looks like it does blue lightning damage, and then I can just fuck off. But I can also do this shit. Was there any reason I did that though? Because now there's all this shit. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, please, and thank you. I don't think anyone expected you just to get all of them all at once. So, there is an overheal item, then, apparently. Also, the screen shake from the bowling ball is very satisfying. 
Okay, so there's a teleporter over there, but I don't know if I should play with it yet. So I'm gonna guess that means I have blue lightning until I get back down to where my health normally is. That third becomes powerful. Trespassers will be dealt with gruesomely. Okay. Oh, Lester's just giggling in, in pleasure right now. Honestly, knowing the Adams family, I'm surprised that sign doesn't say trespassers will be dealt with in the most comforting way possible. <laughs> well, not everything is, is controlled by the... What is this? I now have a headless teddy bear. <laughs> well, I'm finding very Adams family items, I guess. Just outside of range. That one got him though. Not anymore. All right, so I guess the only option I have is either hit the button again, see if it changes the teleporter positions, or uh, take the one up here. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's, it just looks weird. Okay, it's just, it's checkerboard. Checkerboard over a pool of blood. Very out of family. Wow, this is uh, taking a lot of hits. I'm beginning to think I can't kill this. Definitely looks that way. I'm just gonna assume I just can't kill that fucker. Another A. Looks like this is just another Easter egg room at this point. I don't get this reference. This is clearly a map of something. Homestuck? I somehow doubt it is a Homestuck reference. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out on a limb. This game from 1994 does not have a Homestuck reference. And that just put me back here. So, am I done in Dungeon 5? Like, I didn't fight a boss. Google Unpassant. The chess move? I mean, the enemies were... pawns, by the look of things. There is a boss here. Well, the only room I can think of I have not been in is the one at the very top. Everything else I felt like I've been in. I mean, there's a teleporter over here. Oh, hang on. This wasn't here before. There's our boss. Hello. Damn it. Hey, you! Yes, you! What do you think you're doing? Don is taking a quiet stroll on a summer's evening. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but no one is allowed near the mansion. If I were to make an exception, then where would I be? I'll tell you, my reputation would be in ruins, and any Tom, Dick, or Harry could wander around this place. Oh, it wasn't as if I was snooping around attempting to rescue a child who's been captured by the diabolic denizens of this palace, or this place. Nope, sorry, can't make any exceptions. I'm gonna have to deal with uh, you very painfully, just like all the others. Just turn a blind eye for a few seconds, I'll be gone. As I said, it's no use arguing. I have a job to do. Now stand still a moment while I get this out over with. Whoop, okay, I was gonna say that was being a little too easy. 
I was uh, wondering for a bit there. I wonder, maybe now's the time to use these crumble cookies. What did that do? <laughs> Seems like it did nothing. Very glad for this overheal now. Yeah, so chat's theory that you're about to head into a boss was definitely right, because it was in that room. He moves so fast. There we go. At least you managed to outspeed him for long enough. I think you would have been able to beat him without the uh, overheal if you had full health. I have one well, here, so I wouldn't be able to pull it off. The, yeah, that's the real problem. Oh, yeah, the screen right. needs some medium damage, but it should have right. killed the, the jellyfish, is what I'm saying, the small ones. Hello, mister. Welcome back. Oh, did he actually use the litter box? Nice. Good boy, buddy. Hi. Yeah? You need a pee poop? Good for you. Good job, buddy. Proud of you and your butt. Cool Bond thinks you potentially got interrupted trying to trigger it, which honestly I think sounds right. It also sounds cruel. Yeah, it's a little mean. Alright, let me guess, you have the key I need now? Well done, Fester. I found the key I lost in a pool of sewage. The mystery untangles as each moment goes by. All thanks to you, my underhand and unstable big brother. I wonder if you would find a lurching thing. They may need an extra hand. Now I have the spider key. Here we go. Path to walk between those so I don't have to do them again. He's over here. What'd you bring? Oh, you brought food! With Chimkin! Oh, buddy, it's Chimkin for you. There we go, he's digging in. So, Bagel is so spoiled. Yeah, he's so spoiled. He doesn't want it? Oh, wow. Have you seen the new emote? No. Check it. Oh my god, he's so cute! I added it today, Prime did it for me. It's a little paw we're bamping me. It's my little bonk emote. My current equivalent of bonk. Boy, buddy. Bagel's so spoiled. Reese got a rotisserie chicken for, uh, for I guess, mm -hmm. us. But I think most of it's gone to Bagel no, currently. Oh, yeah, it was explicitly for him? Because he stopped eating. Hmm. So because he's not going outside, he's literally starving mm -hmm. himself. That's how much not being outside bothers him. He is a dumbass. So he'll eat the chicken. He likes the chicken. Stodge work, Festa. Keep it up. Oh, wait. But how... I, what? How come this is not open? Don't worry. He's not gonna die. I'm getting him the test. Bagel's not just a dumbass. He's your dumbass. <laughs> Reese just rolled her eyes. Well, if anyone's legal, why don't you just ignore it? I know her. Oh, trust me, we've tried to ignore his you wailing. You ignore it. It's like a baby screaming. Is there no way to have him safely be outside again at some point? Yes. Ish. Ish. A GPS again. GPS collar and only out during the day. Yeah. Is the only thing we can think of. So, don't be surprised if you hear our bagels on adventures again, but he's being tracked. Good idea, though. Like James Bond himself. I would genuinely be super interested in seeing what his adventures are, but also there's no way you can share that because no, uh, no, I wish we, I wish we could show all the adventures by just like having a camera on him or something. But no. he would absolutely dox us. He, well, he goes in everyone else's backyards too, so God knows what he'd pick up in there. Everyone else would be doxed too. <laughs> 
no prizes. What the hell is this? Um, I wish that too. We talked about getting it. This is probably the stone key if I had to guess. Oh, here, look what I got for you, mister. It is not the stone key. Oh, you got him a licky too. Wow. Yeah, that's the cat Bagel looks at the street sign, then at your house number, then starts opening your mail. Yeah, he'd do that. Probably going to someone's backyard and like you could see like someone naked through the window. Probably would accidentally see someone naked and get it on cam, knowing him. Say a minute ago. Take him on walks like a dog. Oh, Reese tried that. I do that, but uh, he wants to go in everyone's yard, and he pulls me into the yard. Yeah. So we a bunch of the yards in our air neighborhood don't have fences, or if they do, he can get under them or over them. So he constantly goes into people's backyards, and and I have broken in enough people's backyards as it is trying to find this stupid motherfucker, so I'd rather not have to do that taking him on a walk. We tried everything. Just sounds like cardio with extra steps. That is pretty accurate, honestly. Oh, the bird eggs. Oh. Yeah, I did. Yeah, as far as the Dan catio, it'd be a, a construction project, Kaze, so not something, because they'd basically have to almost do, like, the entire yard as a catio. Yeah, we, like, yard, if we did a catio for Bagel, we would lose a lot of space. We don't even have room. We'd have to, we'd have to give the entire patio at that point. That's not a catio. He wants to be out on the grass and just want to chase mice. Oh, just then, the yeah, there's nowhere to put it on the, on the grass, you're right. No. He'll just sit right Also true. Hello, bird. Who are you? More to the point, who am I? Where am I? One minute I was flying, and the next, you know, here I am. Everything seems, hmm, cloudy? Could you help me? I've forgotten how to fly, and more specifically, what my name is. Does John Wayne sound right to you? Yes. No. Joan of Arc? Definitely not. What if I hit him with the bowling ball? Oh, if that's the solution, it'd be so funny. Nope, goes right through him. Does Abraham Lincoln sound right to you? No, how about Dr. Jekyll? Hmm, too formal. Mr. Hyde? No, too sinister. This game is weird. This is Adam's Family Values. Actually? Yeah. Ask why that dude looked like fucking Uncle Fester. That's because it is Uncle Fester. All right, that makes sense. It plays like a Zelda game. It's either Uncle Fester or like a zombie version of, like, Curly. <laughs> a zombie version of Curly from the Three Stooges? He's the bald one, right? Yeah. All right, so I've got two paths I can go down. I got two bridges, but where the fuck do either one lead? Who's I'm sure mowing? how far that map was. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good. Check the map again. The Icelands? I don't think I've even been here at all yet. Bugs aren't happy you're here. Yeah, I threw a bowling ball at them. Of course they're not happy. Oh, that... Okay, no. No, no to that. <laughs> so what I've done for my outdoor cat was put a harness on him and used a dog chain to let him sit outside without worrying about him wandering off. That being said, if only it only works on my cat because he just... He likes just sitting, not much wandering, so I doubt it'll work for Bagel. Bagel no. We literally have tried that before. He literally just sits down. No, and... he's gotten out of his two harnesses. Wait, I remember the red one. I don't remember the black one. How do you get out of the black one? The black one he can't move in because it's like a thunder shirt harness. Like, Whoa, hi. He can't do anything except sit. I now have a bagel on my desk. Hello, Hello. mister. <laughs> he looks very out of breath. Hi. You want to you say hi to everyone else? I'm not sure. 
You wanna be on cam? No. <laughs> you wanna be on camera, mister? In time for bagel cam? All I gotta do is look up here, buddy. Yeah, sniff that. Sniff that a little bit more. And <laughs> there you go. Hi, buddy. Hey. Come on, look back at it again. Oh, don't look at me. Hi. Look at how unimpressed this cat is. Must pee on everything. Hello. Hi. Hi, buddy. Like in general, or? <laughs> I think you're. I think you're free to go upstairs. He's just gonna be. That's what he does. Does he normally have his mouth partially open? He does that when he's like super purring or super stressed. Which is probably both. Which is probably both because he's not outside. Yep. He's very stressed in the house. Hi. Very. Can I help you? I got some screenshots of bagel. I post them on Twitter and Blue Sky. Hi, Bagel. My cats would say hello, but they don't know you exist. That's fair. <laughs> and you said there's no room in the yard for a catio? I guess you just have one option left. Have your entire house raised 10 to 15 feet and build a catio underneath it for him. Totally a sensible and logical solution. We were thinking about that fucking cat fence, but our neighbors won't let us. Well, we shouldn't. Well, they, they, won't they won't want that. It. Cause we, cause we would just rather have Bagel in the backyard, and just let him stay in the backyard. But he climbs the fence. He climbs trees. Oh, and the tree. So like, literally, he has multiple ways to get out. We have to bird net the entire I was gonna say, the issue really line. isn't the fence. It's the fact that you could make the fence 20 feet tall, and he just climbed the tree next to the fence and get on top of the fence anyway. No, he just does this. He just looks at my monitor gap and. I have a feeling that if he took away the tree, he'd figure out how to get on your roof. He's watching OBS right now. He's literally staring up at the chat window of OBS. Does anyone actually get their cats to live to watch the fucking bird channel? Does anyone have any luck with the bird channel for, for cats? That might, that might sound like a weird sentence, but at this point, it's it's a true one. Oh, those do not take damage. They are just obstacles. Okay. This is interesting. Brains made of snowballs. I love you too. Goodbye. Hello, Adam. Sorry, our kid's so stupid. Edo, thank you for the raid. I know you love Kirby. So it's Kirby. General yelling for about three seconds like you're about to do a powerful attack. Think anime. No!
Mice for the Super Nintendo, a childhood game of mine. And your robot, of course. Fixed. Edo, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. We're playing some Adam's Family Values for the Super Nintendo, a game I grew up with but never beat. And now that I'm trying to beat it as an adult, I'm learning why. <laughs> it's, uh, it's... It's pretty abstract it's at times. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt game. <laughs> Which oddly seems correct for Adam's family that it would be a coin muncher. It also seems like it's, a game that I definitely would have grown up with. Something frustrating. Hi, buddy. Yeah. It, it 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 invokes the like you have to wander the fuck around to figure shit out really well, and I like that. It de like so this is like for those who are coming in late. This is basically plays like Legend of Zelda style, like top down adventure game. Uh, it very much is like a open ish adventure game. It's been interesting because like there's been a lot of there's been a lot of backtracking in it. But honestly, like I'm still kind of digging it, if I'm being honest. It's had some frustrating moments. It had some decisions, but I still like the general idea of the game. It it definitely is looked like it's felt pretty good that one of the biggest ones that i think they really just shouldn't have made was the fact that the lower your health is the worse your attack gets that is definitely one of the decisions they made that still pisses me off okay whatever these things are these must be a warp gate or something room to move around here. Okay, this ice area seems to currently have nothing we can do in it. Oh! Never mind, I am wrong. Oh, that was... That's dirty. That was nice. That's dirty. So for those who didn't see it, over there, that round spot, that was a snow pile that was sticking slightly up. And that is because if you stand on it, it was a switch. But I've noticed wow. it doesn't seem to have done anything by itself, which means there's a second one somewhere. This so snow effect is really cool. I'm very impressed with it. And that didn't activate either. So somewhere around here, oops, somewhere around here, we missed one. It is yeah, a good use of layer it. seven, or mode seven, I should say. Now, if that didn't do anything, then we need to find a third one. So let me look over here to see if there is a third one. Mm, that looks that looks pressed in though. But no, maybe it's not. I'm gonna have to go check. Preston now. Damn it. And that one's definitely Preston now too. Did I miss a fourth one? I missed a fourth one. Alright, that's four of those now, so that's gotta be it. Nothing. How did those heavy butt snowballs not trigger it rolling right over it? You think, aha, there we go. Where are we now? Dungeon six. Collapse stairway. Oh, I can't get out of here even if I wanted to. Shit. Uh-oh. 
Uh, we might have fucked up. Oh no, dude. And fucking invisible wall maze. I feel like this is one of those situations where we say, who has the map? Wait, is this using the same layout oh, as... I am now wondering that. <laughs> room first before we go in there because that room up is a dead end and dead end rooms are going to be the most helpful in the dungeons hi buddy wanted the notorious hoarder alias uh, stirred for the despicable crime of theft of the valuable jeweled key if you have information of this matter contact miss jelinski the jeweled key is probably what gets us into the mansion at this point that probably means we get to steal it from the thief yay more than likely Is the Jelinski the previous boss we killed? No, the Jelinski's gonna be. Uh, Jelinski's the final boss of the game. I assume. She's she's the one that stole the baby. I now have a magnet. It's in my usable items list. Too. Nothing here, apparently. I'm really hoping it actually attracts those Adams icons to me, though. That would be very helpful. Let's go find those again and see if it works. Nope. Then maybe it's not a usable item then. Oh, part of the map is faded too, I just noticed. Oh, fun. Oh boy. Well, let's do the left part first, since at least we can see where that leads, hopefully. because that would be helpful. Lineback, that's actually an interesting statement. Um, good artists put their all into everything. Because one of the things to be cognizant of when you're doing um, when you're doing work is when to stop. Because putting your all into everything could mean pushing for perfection on everything, which be misinterpreted as pushing for perfection on everything which isn't necessarily a good idea um if you're doing a commission like you are working to the requirements of the person who commissioned you and you need to make sure you're optimizing your time and not putting way too much time in against their expectations above their expectations Either way. Yeah. 
Uh, something tells me I probably shouldn't be fucking around here and I should actually be working on that dungeon. I do still love that Duke Nukem Forever. It took forever to release, but they named it Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> Just like... They named it forever before it took forever, which is the funny part yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just like self fulfilling they prophecy. Planning. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing kept... is, apparently the original build they did was actually like decent. Like they it got leaked and people were like, Oh, this actually seems way better than the game we got. Yeah, they started chasing game engines and porting from game engine to game engine and just hit cruft walls. Ooh, making a big decision like that is difficult. Yeah, and once they started it, they're in too deep. It's not like after you decided to switch to this new engine, it's not like you can go back to the old engine because your reason mm -hmm. for not using that engine is now even more valid. <laughs> yeah, if if you switch game engines more than once, either your project is taking so long that it's ridiculous, and or your live service game, um. Or you made a mistake in your first switch and didn't do a good enough job of knowing your requirements. Because if you're switching game engines, what you need to do is you need to have everything planned out. You, know, you need to know exactly what your requirements are. Or you are making a mistake. Yeah, that is that is 100% what they did because they, they were going for the new shiny. They thought they could quickly port it over and... No. It... Shit. And of course, no health. Uh, I've got one healing item. Problem is now I have no healing items. Another problem is I can see those damn healing items and I can't reach them. I am waiting for the expose on what the fuck happened with Metroid Prime 4. I am just waiting to understand. It's probably not even going to be that interesting. That's the thing. Sometimes dev stories just aren't that interesting. It's, it's entirely possible, but I just want to know what is taking them so long. Like, because there has to be something. It probably was they thought a studio that hadn't done that type of game before could, and then they found out they couldn't, so they had to restart development. And, and then after that is what gets confusing, because I know they don't have the original people that worked on Metro Prime. They have some of Retro that was still there, but uh, some but of the core retro people... Retro 15 years later, so... Yeah, a bunch of people have moved on to other companies. This is actually just a general thing in most things, where it's like, if you don't maintain your staff with certain sets of skills, you're you're not going to get be able to repeat a project like that. That's ironically why Nintendo's considered need. pretty high quality and keep making decent quality stuff is because they have a lot of people there that have been there from the start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they also in-train so they don't lose knowledge as fast as other places do. Yeah, brain drain's not as much of an issue at Nintendo. Yep. I mean, part of part of keeping their staff just in general is also because they're a Japanese gaming company, and it's very difficult to lay people off at a Japanese gaming company, or just a Japanese company in general. The interesting thing I had... Sorry to switch back to the game. Um... The interesting thing about this game, I can't tell if I'm actually making progress half the fucking time. It's, it's very opaque on that. You're going through areas, you're going into new areas, but you don't know if you're supposed to be there. Teleporter out of order, stay clear? That doesn't work, so at least that's accurate. 
As it turns out, Nintendo didn't realize they could count to four without word titles and went, wait, we were supposed to make a number four? Which of you made Pikmin four? I love that. Pretty good comment from Crazy Crabs. Where was the comment? Mal's gotten into an interesting place where it's almost not profitable for them to make games. I mean, straight up, they they said before we can never make a Portal Three or a uh, Half Life Three. The hype would be too big. Oh yeah. Like you will, if there is a day we get a Half Life Three or a Portal Three, I will be astonished. Just because it will be impossible to live up to the hype. Like, there is no team that could pull that off without a multi-hundreds of millions of dollar budget. Make Portal 4, then. No expectations there. Yeah, just lie. <laughs> The, the only way the only way they could ever do Half-Life 3 or Portal 3 is if they just shadow drop them. Like, no notice on it getting worked on, just here. And it's a reasonably sized quality game. Which is kind of what they did with Alex. They just kind of said, here you go, have a Half-Life game. Do they have that in-house or was that a different studio? I forget. I don't even remember. Okay, so I need to find some way to turn off this shield. Alex so that, was in house, apparently. Is that a boss up there? That is a penguin. Huh. Oh. Okay. I think I know how to get the key. You think you know how to get the key based on seeing a penguin? No. Someone in chat mentioned something, and I'm like, oh, I know how to get the key. I think. <laughs> what Al Lowell did with Leisure Suit Larry, Le Larry 3 was meant to be the end of the series, but it sold so well that Sierra wanted a fourth game. Lowe jokingly skipped to Larry 5, so he didn't have to worry about what happened after the ending of the third game. <laughs> and yes, that's what I thought you had to do for the key. Alright, now we have the iron key. So I guess we got what we needed added here then. Health? Health! Yay! I just gotta not get hit on the way out of here, which is gonna be easier said than done. Like I said. <coughs> Mister, what's bugging you, buddy? No, don't get in front of the TV. Oh, no. Oh, the big stretch. Which means the it's work. Be trying to climb. Don't climb over there, buddy. Hi. Don't do that. For those wondering what's happening currently. Currently trying to climb over to there, where everything else is. <laughs> the don't go table. Yeah, the don't go over there table. And he will try anyways. One of my cats has finally learned that when there's a whole shit, I was supposed to do my taxes today. Did you, your cat learn you were supposed to do your taxes? No. Uh, what I was trying to say before I got distracted. Um, was one of my cats has finally learned that the table with all the paperwork that I have to do on it 
cough, cough, I have to do my taxes, um, is no go well. There's paperwork on it. After Hi, jumping up on it and falling off of the thing, of course. I don't jump up with the samurai pizza cats, sorry. Leave them alone. They've been through enough. This is just what he does now when he can't go outside, is he tries to, like, disturb everything as much as possible. Oh, no, leave Speedy alone. Hi, you coming back? Hi, you coming? Oh, hi, you all right? Hello, can I help you? Yeah? Bye-bye. I know you got your camera to work again. I got it working today, but it still doesn't fucking work on this screen, and I don't know why. The only time it works is if I turn off the capture card, which is the dumb thing. I don't know why. Here, just, just to show what I'm talking about here. Uh... Wait, did I take the camera off the screen because of that? Oh, no, there it is. So my camera's on right now, but you don't see anything. But the second I turn off the capture card, boom, right here. And if I turn it back on, freeze frame. Ah, weird. Yeah, they're not even the same brand. They shouldn't be sharing drivers. And they've worked separately before, no problem. Makes me wonder if it's an OBS bug or... It might be an OBS bug. Maybe, maybe if I update OBS, it'll fix itself. I am overdue for an update. No chat, we're not gonna leave John flipping us off. No, I've removed it already, don't as worry. As funny as that would be. Is Bagel being okay? He, he's being Bagel. He just used the litter box again. I don't know what he did. It smells like a pee, I'm sure. Hi, are you coming back up? Hi. How are you? Is he bugging you? No, we're you? not gonna make an emote out of that either. He's being okay, don't worry. John, we know we are one number one. Okay, that's fair. Hi. You guys just gonna sit there now? Looks like you're contemplating life right now, Bagel. I looked up like you gestured, but I didn't find anything. Well, I do appreciate you tr you looking anyways. That's greatly appreciated. Well, there's um, my uh, work chat, so hmm. I got something up there. I've got to go into that maze because it's the only thing left. Uh, those who know the game, is there a boss in Dungeon 6? Oh, for fuck's sake, you really go this far? Oh, come on. Hi, hello. i be careful I don't have any heals left. Yeah? Mister, jumping around here ain't gonna solve your your issues. Just so you know. Mister, what are you trying to do now? This is a new one. Hey, what are you trying to do? Ah, uh, that's what you're trying to do. They stayed there. They stayed. 
Oh, buddy, if you jump down there, the you are so thing. trapped. There's no way I can save you. Do not jump down there. Okay, good. You're not that dumb. Oh, but you're going up there, huh? He's he's having a fun explore today. <laughs> oh, mister. Oh, buddy. <laughs> he told him not to explore outside, so he's exploring inside. Yeah, I guess so. He's up on the Power Ranger Shrine. What are you picking at there, buddy? Actually, what are you picking at there? Hi, what are you doing? Yeah, I know. Should you be there? Yeah, probably not. Uh, mister? Mister? Look at this fucker. He's knocking over shit. I don't even know what you just knocked over. Sounds like Animal Crossing cards. Should you be where you are right now? <laughs> I just want to confuse Kitty. Hang on, I gotta go get him. I think he's trapped. Hi, can I help you? John's dealing with bagel chat. Well, John's handling that. Chat, you got questions for us? Yes, that is a question if you ask if this is a question. The uh, land speed of an unladen bagel is too fast. I will let him know when he comes back, Peggy. I've, I've mostly been letting him wander around, Peggy. Um, I did notice some of your messages, but letting him explore before he gets real. Yeah, I think he did ask if there is a boss here, though. Ah. Okay. So. Do you, do you actually want me to do that, Shamrock? Because I will do that. 
I will answer that question. The, the problem is, at what point are you going to start? Because there's... No, the problem is, at what point am I going to stop? <laughs> well, there's quite a few places where you could start that question. There's several ways to interpret the question, too. So the question stands, Shamrock. Do you actually want me to answer that question? Does chat really want to hear the answer to that question? <laughs> Ten words or less. No. Hey, I did it in ten words or less. Number in, does math, number out, loops back. I think that was eight. I think that was programming. Uh, I have two cats. One of them is named Socks, one of them is named Shoes. There's also a third cat in the house, but it's my parents. They're named Smokey. I mean, I can very much explain programming. I have a standing offer to all of my friends that if they ever want to learn how to program, I will teach them. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's fun. <laughs> okay, I like the Final Fantasy XIV reference there. <laughs> Give, give us a long, technical, historically accurate summary of programming. Do next week. All of that I can do in PowerPoint form. Nope, out the window. <laughs> that's, that's something that I wound up finding out recently. Windows has mm. a dedicated LinkedIn button and PowerPoint button. God. How have they not gotten in like 17 antitrust cases? Yeah, it, In the last year. it It's kind of silly how to trigger it. It's control, windows, alt, shift, L, and P. But it's just like, really? Good lord. Okay, the actual thing about explained programming like a shonen anime, honestly, you probably could. Genuinely, you could turn, like, the history of computers and programming into a shonen anime. You'd have to compress the timeline, but you could totally do it, and it would be wild. Like, the thing is, you you joke about starting um, with the protag just sitting with an abacus somewhere. You use that as, like, the storybook-style intro talking about the beginning of their powers and how since ancient times they got their powers through abacuses. As things evolved into mechanical calculators and beyond. <laughs> Like manual math, uh, manual math during done, done during the um, the middle medieval period, um, the um, the mechanical calculators and like the just barely getting there but just failing right at the end, um, the beginning of hardware computers and like um, the oh, I forgot the name of the building. Good lord, this cat. Berkeley? Not Berkeley. Um, I'm back. It's where they cracked the Enigma code. Oh. I don't remember what building that was in either. Yeah, but like you could do a whole season on like that. Bletchley. That's what it is. Bletchley Park. Um, you could do a whole thing about them and then like your 
your late 40s and into the 50s and 60s of mainframe machines and then like 70s and 80s of these mainframes like starting to network and then the personal computer and then you take the personal computer and you go to like the internet in the 90s and then social media becomes a season like you could literally make multiple seasons of a fucking anime on just the history of computers and programming and there's also the fun one of you can actually have a episode dedicated alone to the ENIAC computer bug, which was a literal bug hmm? crawling around in the computer. There you go. <laughs> that they had to hunt down crawling around in the computer way. screwing up the math. Yep. Some... Light Cecil, you mentioned electromechanical computers. So there's just, just some of my favorite things are the the pure mechanical nope. systems that are used for certain calculations. Um, the the rotary calculator that a dude figured out how to make, no joke, in a World War II internment camp. And once he was finally released, then went on to make pretty close to his original blueprints. Like, it's just a beautiful piece of engineering. What did I come back to? Um, Tomoyo and, I are, Tomoyo and I are going back and forth about an anime that's based on different programming languages throughout the the, uh, the years. Specifically a shonen anime. I was gonna say, are you writing, like, fanfiction? <laughs> No, we're making we're we're writing an anime. It's not a fan fiction, it's a brand new thing. Is he where? Okay, good boy, buddy. Shamrock yeah, wanted me to talk you. about uh Shamrock wanted me to talk about programming. The beginnings of programming. You're using the new one? Oh. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Thank you, babe. Love you. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> All right. So since that was basically a break, anyways, uh, what we'll do is we'll drop eggs now. We'll do our block now, and then we'll just get back to the game. So we'll say we'll say me having to fuss around with Bagel was that. So let's drop eggs first and foremost. Are you punishing Bagel or is Bagel punishing you? Oh, I'm... I'm definitely being punished. Right, buddy? Yeah. He's starting to get the look that he might actually calm down now that he's hopped around everywhere. Skit Scott for 54, Gamers for 72. Shade Durgan 97 for 69. Nice. Oh, happy birthday, too. Hell yeah. Plasma Phoenix 12 for 73. Lodestar Mage for 69. Nice. Virgil 592 for 38. And Luca for 125. Who asks, is Bagel being okay? Promptly before coming down and entertaining the cat. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are again. Oh, actually, this time is the shuffle. give me an egg. All right, no break, right into alerts. Colin, the Game Boy says, no need to read out loud. Oh, right, I already read that one, sorry. Why did I not mark that one off? Uh, Red Mimicreen versus Fennec Foxtrot. Thank you both for the alerts. No messages on them, though, so let's go straight in our block. Our block starts right here with a comic. Disneyland. Boom. Uh, what dreamscape did I land in? Everything's in black and white, so it must be in the past. I can see the real stars making their way. Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Oh, God, those are horrifying. <laughs> this isn't a dream. This is a nightmare. From Spot and Combust. So because John played a Disney game on stream, I decided to draw another comic with an alt. In this came Cherry. In this case, Cherry, engaging in some of the weirdness Disney has to offer. And I finally decided to bust out opening day Mickey and Minnie. The costume characters were a rather late addition to a park that had a lot of things being done at the last minute to meet deadlines. The asphalt was still fresh enough in the day, so hot high heels were getting stuck in the pavement. 
They reused costumes from the ice charades. Those large... Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to you too, mister. You always get scared when I sneeze. Uh, they reused costumes from the ice charades. Those large gashes on their faces were for visibility in a dark skating arena. Easy enough not to notice in an ice arena. Harder to ignore face to face. Sorry for the trivia ramble. I feel context is important for this one. Just look at that. That's horrifying. Just the gaps in the face. And the one up there between the eyes, too. Oh my god. Holy shit. No, thanks. Thank you, though, Spawn. And Cherry, I'm sorry in advance. Next up... We have a tarot card. Herofent. Just vibing, just hanging out, going for some high fives. The fifth trump, the Herofent, based off the Pope, though it's also John, so you know what? Let's not delve further into the idea of Pope John. There are already 15 of them, I think. The modern interpretation of the Herofent is guidance and offering aid, and I interpret this as the civil discussion that sometimes pop up around here sometimes. I don't have much else to speak on this one. We aren't exactly following tradition around here. <laughs> When I wrote this card is about public discussion, I did not expect that very open discussion we would have tonight. Or the very open discussion. <laughs> Sorry. You never know around here, Greased. Next up, speaking of cards... I barely know how to play this game, and even I can tell this hand sucks. From Gespent. So a bit of a fun fact, the deck leader John used in Duelist of the Roses last stream, Maiden of the Aqua, is kind of infamous because of being one of the few cards during the first couple years in the game that did not get its card art censored in the West. A lot of female monsters were edited to reduce bust size. Of course it was fucking bust size. So in short, you pick the one monster known for having big titties. I just thought that was really funny. It wasn't intentional. I did not intend to pick the big titty card. The big titty card chose me, and because all the other ones were kind of meh, and everyone said Maiden was good, so I picked the big titty card because I was told to. Also, did you know the airplane guys from Sexy Parodius have Yu-Gi-Oh cards? A few Konami games have dedicated cards that reference them. Oh, I didn't realize- oh, the Omitsu or whatever the name is? Oitsu? <laughs> Oitsu and Koitsu or something like that? I know a lot of Konami games have cards, because I've seen Vic Viper. I've seen the Metal Gear ones. Uh, I think I've even seen the Penguin from Parodius and, like, Penguin's Adventure. So I'm not shocked. But there you go. Thank you, Gushpent, for, for Big Titty Card Rosa, who knows how bad their fucking card is. Oh, they even have the Koitsu card right there. I didn't even notice. It's also if you're from Castlevania. That's true. Isn't Wall Chicken a card? I think Wall Chicken's actually a card. Thank you, Gushpent. Next up from Pluto. Pluto, new social media manager. The Pluto manager. There you go, we could have two jobs. I know I'm known as a bit of a goof around here, but I'm very responsible in real life. Sure, sometimes I forget to eat, to use the bathroom, to shower, to change my clothes, to take my medicine, or that I go to school, but I'm a big girl who does big girl things like work a job, even though right now I don't have one. In all honesty, though, I get it. I get it's for the bit. I've done some things I feel extremely proud of in real life. I just like talking about them since it feels relatively like bragging. But hey, it's okay to brag every now and then, right? Just not right now. Pluto, I was actually starting to consider you for the position until you literally listed all of this. <laughs> Uh, wait, no, that's all fake, I promise. <laughs> I'm responsible, I can do big girl things, I promise. Oh, wait, I missed this, too. Okay, but imagine this for a moment. The Proton John Twitter page with some massive boobs on the retweets. I mean, some big knockers, some massive honkers, a real setup of donkers, gets bonked and fired. It really sounds like Pluto is trying to be the manager of Luca's uh, social media. I mean, yeah, she'd probably do a great job managing Luca's social media, for sure. I like this comment from Gwen as well. I volunteer as tribute to be Pluto's manager. I am very good at managing her already. Also, she's very sweet IRL. She has a heart of gold, and she will murder me for saying this, but it's true, and I stand by it. Uh, sorry, Pluto. 
I'm not hiring currently for a social media manager. We'll see in the future. Next up, from O2 to CO2, what is happening in this picture? Jami. Sorry, John, but Pluto got my vote with the bagel and a hat lobby. In big fucking Dunkaroos, we trust. A vote for Pluto to become social media manager is a vote for putting every cat in a hat and vice versa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like it was his Jami, but it's very clearly Pluto. <laughs> Thanks, so too. Uh, are you hiring for a Pluto manager, though? Not yet, either. Next up from Dr. Zock, uh, Rubus, your cat is brave, but very dumb. John's dream talk of runes, battles with shark snakes, and hearing the voice of a goddess sounds a lot like the plot of a classic Dragon Quest title to me. So here's the legendary hero P. Roto, mm, John, engaging in battle. I'll leave it up to the wiki folks if uh, this counts as an alt or not. And for the curious, John is the hero of Dragon Quest III, Bagel is a jail cat, and the shark slash Tsuchinoko thing is a sea dragon. Yeah, sea dragon seems pretty fitting for the look. Like, I remember it distinctly, like, having, like, the the fat, chubby body that a Tsuchinoko is usually drawn with. But it had literally, like, a hammerhead, shark-style head with, like, the eyes on, like, little sockets on the side. Thank you, Zok. Next up, looks like from Mika. I drew this for fun. Here's an emote for when you want to tease someone. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in my pocket. Thank you, Mika. And then finally, the emote from Rhyme. Figured I wish should let everyone get a better look at Proton Paw. He's just a little angry guy. I also wrote down like 10 emote suggestions from chat. Now, let's see what I can do with them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. New emotes incoming, baby. Let's go. Let's fucking go. He bap. He bap. Uh oh. I have realized the fatal flaw of my plan. Because I didn't take an actual break, because we wanted to deal with the cat, I don't have any water in my water bottle. Go fill that. That's that's important. We'll, we'll I handle have, chat. I have it's enough fine. for like two sips. Then then go fill it. We'll handle it. I have had my two We're... sips. <laughs> I will be right back. We're perfectly competent. We can totally handle chat on our own. I'm going to come back right, to program tomorrow. and talk again, aren't I? I can't hear you, so I'm just going to assume you said yes. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> yeah, and now we have to talk about literally anything else. <laughs> I don't read binary live like that, Bubba. Mom is gone. Let's go raid the fridge. Except that's where they are going. We can't go there to raid them and follow them. We'll get caught. <laughs> Wiley, as far as between McDonald's and Burger King, I'm going to have to say it depends. My favorite things that Burger King sells, they don't sell anymore. I like Burger King's chicken time. strips. They're good. I said Burger King. I meant Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen's chicken strips are good. I haven't had Burger King chicken strips before. Or in recent enough memory to actually remember what they taste like. <laughs> Burger King is such chicken fries and their buffalo sauce is pretty good, but Dairy Queen's is actually better. Tiger, I always have projects in the works, but also, yes, I'm currently trying to debug why the new method for displaying results on the poll site isn't functioning the way it's supposed to. Um, if all goes well, we'll have a much more stable way of doing results, uh, hopefully by Saturday. By which I mean, it won't be deployed on Saturday, and then I'll be hitting a button and testing it with about half the group, and we'll see if it breaks. And then we'll be deploying it in full on Saturday. <laughs> as far as Wendy's, I have done Wendy's before, but 
if we're going to expand beyond things I could get within four or five hours, I would actually have to bring up uh, Five Guys or In and Out as my burger choice of choice, which oh. I cannot get without going quite a few states away. <laughs> I will take a Five Guys burger over almost anything. I will take literally any other um, fast food restaurant over Five Guys fries. I hate their fries. It's just something with the oil or how they do with the potatoes or something. There's just something wrong with their fries. It's really unfortunate, Aelita, because if I liked their fries, I would be very happy with the amount of fries they gave me. Also, yes, Shamrock's right. Culver's just wins. I'm not going to tell, tell all the stories about Culver's, but yes, they, they are a very, very good place. I forgot about them. And the story I have about them does not relate to them. It's more of a personal problem. Because <laughs> they forget their fast food and are pressing themselves on the market. That's the thing. I don't think they ever wanted to be fast food. They wanted to be faster food, but like, I don't think they wanted to be actually fast fast food. Yeah, that makes sense for Culver's because it is best if you eat it as if it's a sit-down restaurant and you don't leave. Oh, that that applies to Culver's and Five Guys. I will have to say that as well, because I had Five Guys as a delivery, and it was not as good as it was in person. So both of them have that that problem that they're really, really good in the restaurant, but when you leave... Mm -hmm. Fast casual, apparently, is the term, which makes sense. Also, Arby's fries are really good, specifically their curly fries. Arby's and Hardy's curly fries are very, very good, but that's also just because I like curly fries. Uh. Um, there are a few places that do Cajun fries that I really like. At Zook's, Taco Bell is not authentic Mexican. That is Tex-Mex. It's barely Tex-Mex. It doesn't even count as Tex-Mex. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. Hi. Did you? I went up, I got water, and when I got water, I got a cat. <laughs> so, so I had to follow the cat around for a bit to calm him down. My favorite little thing that I got was like three or four months ago. I've got a little water dispenser that I can just shove the hose into a five gallon bottle, and it just pumps water onto my desk. Gwen, why are you writing Pluto's fucking resume for her? <laughs> I will say, even though Pluto has her struggles, she's a very passionate woman who can get stuff done. I do generally think she can be a great social media manager, knowing her as an individual. All jokes aside, I would trust Pluto with my life and believe in her capabilities. She does need to take better care of herself, but I believe in her and her abilities. <laughs> the first thing I see in chat is, huh? Oh my god, shut up, Gwen. From Pluto. I'm not, I'm not actually hired for a social media manager right now, but I, I will keep Pluto in mind for the role. So there is no boss, but there is yet one more item to get in here. Okay. Thank you, Peggy. Um, so that would probably mean I have to go in through the awkward-ass maze. Uh, but the real question is, how the fuck do I get back to it? Because I didn't see any... Teleporter. Uh, am I SOL? Do I actually have to go the long way? Looking for Peggy. Oops.
Yeah, I don't think I have an out. But it's so weird, instead of taking my lunch money, she gave me some from Pluto. <laughs> Check my references, I worked with Transgwender at starting shit, address protonjohn.twitch.tv. Back inside the dungeon, walk back to the room with four red warp tiles. Step on either of the tiles on the right, and you'll eventually wind up back in room X. Unfortunately, that doesn't tell me what I need, Peggy. That tells me what I'm trying to get. Unless one of these will actually warp me. Son of a bitch! This fucking game. This fucking game, my dudes. So for reference's sake, red teleporters aren't supposed to do shit. <laughs> They're supposed to be one ways. I mean, you can't go that way. And then that one was. <sighs> all right. Just break all the rules. Why not at this point? Who cares about rules? This happens family values. I'm also running out of health and I've been out of cookies for a while. We're not in a good spot. We might just have to take the death here. Because I also don't know where we have and haven't been. Ah, damn it. Just small heels. Oh, there's like an actual exit there. Um, no, it's not. Oh, yes, full health, no way. The hell is that? Very nice. I now have the shock wave. I mean, yay for me, but what the fuck does that do? It's in the usable list again. Oh! That should have come with a warning. Yeah, I really should have. It really should have. I missed a thing, didn't I? Uh, I found a screen nuke item that uses half my health. Oh, yay! Joyful. Now, where's that putting me, though? Oh, I'm back here. I gotta go back in, don't I? Shit biscuits. I love how this music is like tantalizingly close to the Terminator theme. Or like just like incidental music you would hear in the Terminator movies. Uh, Tiger, I think we're gonna wait for Peggy to answer that one. I don't think it's a good idea to experiment with that question. Well, what would they say? So does it cost half your current health to use, or does it cost four skulls? I'm gonna gonna bet half health, but the timing was indeed really inconvenient. All right, we probably could get back down to that maze down there, so let's find our way back down there, I guess. Guess I can get some small, he oh, these are invincibility. Okay, well, either way, that still helps. It's 
still don't know how to get these. Which sucks, because I would like those. Very much. All right, tribe magnet. Magnet only worked on that key, as far as I can tell. Can't you just drug Bagel to calm him down like my parents did to me? A, ouch. And B, no. We can give him kitty weed every now and then, that's about it, but we don't wanna have our fucking drugged up cat. I do like that bagel is full of life and like curiosity, even though god damn it sometimes he's annoying as fuck. Alright, well now that I know red teleporters every now and then will just fucking be weird as shit, I'm gonna check every goddamn one I find now. <laughs> oh my god, dark jokes hit harder than a drunk parent. Jesus Christ, y'all are like antsy today. Oh, for blood. Darkest sketch going on over here. Okay, so this teleporter is the one I took last time, so let's not take that teleporter and see what happens. That's a different one. I think even that's a different one. Oh, there's so many different ones. Shit. Well, let's try this one. Ah, uh, that actually might have got me where I needed to go. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Where did that put me? Did that actually do what we need? Uh, it actually might have. They really do, unfortunately. And unfortunately, none of them are dropping health. All they're dropping is rocks, which I've already got max on. Shit. Oh, double shit. I'm out of cookies, right? I think you said that earlier. Yeah, I sure did. I've got temporary invincibility cookies, and I've got the screen damage cookie. That's about it. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're getting really lucky with finding those. So far, we've not found anything we actually need up here. Oh. I think they knew. They probably did. Inside the letterbox is a single envelope addressed to Mr. Rimble Feathers the Vulture. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's... Well, we have our answer. It appears to be a copy of Scavenger's Quarterly Incorporating De uh, Decomposition Digest. Digest. Now, is that in my inventory? Because I didn't get a pop-up. No, I guess I just memorized that. 
Is blue four squares long the max rank of lightning? Or do you think or know there's one more upgrade for getting enough permanent HP power boost? I don't know. I We had like the fake full bar and it was still blue. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume blue is the limit. Son of a bitch. Please drop a skull. No, it's a rock. All I got was a lousy rock. Okay, so now are we done in here? That is the last thing for Dungeon 6. That's still weird, though, because there's still a bunch of rooms we haven't been in that are actually, like, solid on the map. Like, oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Like, directly to my right, we have not been in that square. It wouldn't well, surprise me if those are red herrings. I mean, it's clearly some sort of teleporter maze. Or just a Lost Woods equivalent, basically. Because, like, see, they're putting me in other rooms. Okay, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> it's a maze. You got lucky to find everything already. Okay, so I really don't need to do anything in the maze. There's nothing else left to get. In that case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, there were two teleporters there. Okay, so I need to somehow get back to that top left area, because that's where the bird with amnesia was. The problem is, if I remember correctly, that area is also blocked off because of a rock slide, so I don't think I can go out that way. So is directly left my only way out of here that's going to be close to what I need? How you got in there, so probably. Never yeah, because. Yeah. You guys are- Oh, come on! Where were you when I needed health earlier? Jesus, three of the four of you dropped health. Oh, now I'm here. Shit. Um... We didn't go this way either. We might as well check it. So this should be... Bingo! Oh. What's up? Nate Dog, there's a firefly for dark areas. This is Uncle Fester. This would have been a perfect for the light bulb mouth. I agree wholeheartedly. However, the game devs were like, nah. Shit. Wait, where 
the fuck is that gonna lead? Oh, where I need it. Hi, Wang! Thank you for the raid! I'm just trying to work my way towards what I hope is health. There's a lot of them. Oh, no. Oh, what is this? That was actually health. Health. Okay, cool. How far in the game are we, by the way? We're pretty decently far. Um, if I had to guess... 65%? 70? Don't actually know for sure. <clears throat> Don't actually know for sure, but uh, that is my best guess based on our inventory, essentially. Oh, we're having a nice boat. Oh, I'm always having a nice boat, dude. I'm always opening a box and hoping it might even have a boat in it. You know how much we wanted one of those. For the raid, hi Wang. Hopefully your stream was good. We are working our way through Adam's family values to see if we can beat it tonight. It's uh, not looking like we're gonna beat it tonight, but uh, we'll be pretty set up for next week at the very least. Wisdom of Duke request from Shin Avis. Shin, here you go. Trust me, baby. I'm a doctor. My stream was about boating, being bad at math, and making a lot of floppy jokes. Oh, so were you actually playing a Leisure Suit Larry game? Because that would be really funny, because we had just talked about that today. Sadly, no. Dredge. Ah, uh, dredge makes sense. Alright, back into the snow area, but now we have... Oh, God. <laughs> we have a lot of options now. Okay. Okay. Jesus, 10 hits. Seven with full power. Ouch. I'm so afraid to move around in half these spots because I have no idea the very erratic pattern they are, like, the, the trail they're on. 
Oh shit. Well, let's go see that he was a health. Just enough health to get the blue, but you take one hit and you lose it. Yeah, that part does annoy me. Another ice penguin. Another ice penguin. That's a bear. Night, Millennium. Whew, there's so many branching paths here, dude. You still haven't left the center, quote unquote, room yet. That's the one thing that bugs me about this map is that a square on the map can technically be like 10 fucking rooms. That skull, huh? All right, well, there's a bridge to another area. Let's see where this leads. That's a lot of water. Hey, there we go. Let's see if I can hang on to it. This is a new tune. This is not on the map. It's a hot jam. Go away! Go on, sling your hook! You'll be sorry if you don't go, we'll eat you! No, we won't. Yes, we will, we'll eat you and crunch your bones. But we're doors, and doors don't eat people, we don't have mouths. Well, if that's the case, how do we talk? Uh, never thought about that. Guess we had better shut up then. Guess so. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's try all our keys, I guess. It was the iron key. I'm almost sad the door didn't literally eat the key. We're in the mansion, aren't we? Oh, the game just wants to oh no, you, you welcome to the game. morgue. Okay. Ah. I was actually expecting the mansion. I'll, I'll That's a big spider. That's a real big spider. You're late. Late? Just late. Things are not what they seem. The child you seek lies somewhere in this morgue. Goodbye for now. Wait, what do you mean things are not what they seem? Who are you? Where have you gone? Oh, well, I thought we Adams were weird. I did not find thing yet. Oh, that new potion. I now have a red potion. It's literally just called Red Potion. Interesting. What's behind door number one? <sighs> the fact that there's not a map really worries me.
Oh, good. Fast, small enemies that shoot lasers. Neat. Whee! Oh, and they take a lot of hits. Oh, that's a lot. They're, they don't die, do they? They are acting like the pawns. Fuck me, then. All right. Shockwave? But that takes half my health. Oh, Peggy sang Shockwave. Oh, okay. Uh... No. That's the only thing that will kill them. Oh. That's I have no cookies right now, so I should not be doing that. When was the last time we saved? Oh, there's no saving. If we continue, we're just going to be like in the nearest loading zone with whatever oh, we have okay. locked in. Okay, so we don't have to run and grab a save, whatever it's called. No. Save string. Did I recall this place is supposed to be endgame? I mean, they did say the baby was in the halls, and I'm pretty sure that's our final... final goal, so... So we got a door we couldn't open. Door number two. Another door we can't open. Try them all. Yeah, it's a bit safer to do it here than the other place. You don't have laser shooting at you. Yeah. But at this point. That was weird. It almost sounded like it worked for a second. Yeah, I heard a laser. Probably need the vulture, whatever the vulture gives you. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. Also, possibly you need three keys, so maybe that green key did work, but you need two more. Hmm, that's what I'm wondering. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey, at least they're killable. Yeah, thankfully, unlike the lasers. Do I have everything, i.e. every key item? God, no, I'm missing, like, half the shit! I see the red eyes now. That's sneaky. Notice the little two red dots there? That's that enemy. They only become visible when they get close. At least it has a tell, and it's not just completely. Yeah. Hey! I thought, yeah. It, had, I thought That's... it had no tell at first, so. Actually, an almost reasonable design decision. Almost. Ocean every now and then might have one reasonable design decision. All right, let's 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 try the keys again, because it really did sound like one of these keys actually worked. Okay, so we can't do this area at all yet. So 
So what are the things we know we can do at the moment? We know we can activate the spider statue in the graveyard. We know we can give, uh, tell that vulture his name. We know we can't leave here. Well, what? Uh, how do I leave here? You should have everything. You have everything to do this. So what do I need to do? Three doors that we can't seem to open. I didn't try. No. So the the thing about um, about older games is they literally didn't have the technology to have solid state storage that lasted a period of time longer than like a few seconds without being powered. Um, you might have heard of beforehand, uh, like the bowling ball Pokemon kills games. them. Oh, cool. Um, you might have heard of like. Pokemon games, how some of the saves are dying because the battery is dying. Um, that's the same thing. It's the method that they're using to save stuff is an active storage medium. So if you lose power to it, the save data goes away. Um, I, and so you, a lot of... I want to correct that slightly. They did have EEPROMs, but they were extremely expensive at the time and power hungry to actually run them. So Fair. One of the things we're talking about technology is you have to make the assumption of at a reasonable size and cost yeah. is often and applied just in general. We're not there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so what a lot of games did, if the game state you needed to keep track of wasn't that large, they'd just say, well, let's just wrap it up in a ball of text and give it to the user throw a little bit of validation in there and your save file in quotes is like 10 to 20 characters long you can shove an entire metroid game in what super metroid's pass for character length original metroid 16? was 24 i think 24 Engage Ridley motherfucker. Yeah, the 24. Yeah. 24 characters. Entire save. Which, it really makes sense for a lot of these games because you're not storing a lot of data. You're storing, did the user pick up this? Have they beaten this boss? Blah, blah, blah. Um, there's actually, a, someone made a tool and I don't have the link to it. Um, but someone made a a tool to generate um, saves for, for Super Metroid. Like, you can literally generate your save passcodes. It's actually really cool. Um, I say Super oh, Metroid. Wait. I don't know if it's Super Metroid. Yeah, sorry. I realized there was a Metroid. fucking switch on the one of the pillars. Oh, fun. Um, I'm so focused on this anonymity. I didn't even notice you do that. 
Um, I'm, I'm getting there, Mr. Silvermoon. Um, so what what you do when you're generating a, a save for any Damn. particular game is you are basically taking um, all of your potential options and you're converting them into either a raw number or a yes, no, a, a one or a zero binary. Um, Cause a raw number can be boiled down to binary and technically text strings can also be boiled down into binary because that's how computers function, but it's less efficient. You don't normally save text it via a text compression string or a save string. Cause that doesn't make any sense. Um, and so you break all of your stuff down into these ones and zeros. Did you get heart piece one? Did you get heart piece two? Did you get heart piece three? Did you get, and or did you get item A, B, C, D? How many hearts did you have? How many missiles do you have? You can take all of this and it's basically just a whole bunch of ones and zeros that you put next to each other. And then you chunk them up into groups of four or sometimes five or sometimes six. And you take that and you say, okay, this now represents a different number. And that number I'm going to map to a character. So hexadecimal is one of the more common methodologies of doing this. It takes four ones and zeros and maps that to the numbers zero through nine and then A through F. Because that's 16 characters. And that's how many different characters you can represent with four bits of binary. And then you repeat that again and again and again for every single group of four ones and zeros that you have. And that's how you get your save string. Um, what a lot of games will do just to make it so that it's a little bit harder to reverse engineer save strings um, is they will give you a, they'll take like the last one or two characters and they'll do a little bit of math on it um, to generate what's called a checksum because it literally checks the sum of all of the numbers that came before it um, so that you end up with a, oh yeah, this was a, a valid and not improperly entered save string. The other part about that to hide it is they'll actually bit mask it as well to invert certain bits to where you mm -hmm. can't easily predict like if you go and you take a save state that's just raw written, you can just add a missile and you'll see yep. one letter change and you can actually reverse that easily. But yep. they'll bit mask it with a value that only the program knows and suddenly you can't easily get it back out anymore. Yep. Some games will make it in intentionally make it difficult to reverse engineer their um their save strings. Um, which is a lot of work for not much gain. In my opinion, you're kind of telling the player this is how you have to play, not like th this is how you have to have fun. Um, For fighting the boss and leaving, you need two items in here. Well, I got one, which was the book, I assume. I fixed my headset because I whacked it. <laughs> That's always fun. Ah, damn it. Okay, well, that error makes doors. sense. It definitely looked like there were four doors. There are four doors. Yeah. No, Bubba. Book of Flying and Munchie Manual are the two items. Well, we've already found the Munchie Manual. Really hoping some of that health would have respawned. Not that lucky.
Why the health thing's skulls? Because Adam's family. That's pretty much it. Fuck. There we go, finally, Jesus. That doesn't explain anything. I mean, they're they're meant to be like morbid, gothic, weirdos. Perhaps the right one. Oh, damn it. These guys move a little too fast. That sign sounds like heck. Super Metroid door randomizer. Yeah. That is the thing you can do. That is the thing you can do. Um. The. God. I don't know the algorithms for it very well, but the way randomizers work in general is actually really fucking cool. Just like on a conceptual level, the ability to look at how a game is built and say. Oh yeah, no, if you can get here, you'll be able to get back, like, you'll be able to access this point, this point, and this point, and just figure out all the different ways you can do it, and then take that and convert it into a layout that's valid. Like, it's really cool. Also, just the concept of Archipelago is amazing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having games that I play actually to get there. <laughs> The the entire world opens up the moment the um, the app store for Archipelago um, gets finished. I call it an app store. It's closer to a package manager, but people recognize the term app store better. Because <laughs> um, right now, the way that it works for Archipelago is you basically have to build the game directly into the main client, which slows a lot of things down like a lot of things down because all of the tests are run for everything simultaneously and it becomes just a headache. Um, what they're working on doing right now is they're working on taking the concept of the AP world, which is a thing that's existed for a bit. It's basically a plug-in system for Archipelago where you can say like, hey, I have this other software that's not technically built into the core project. I want to add it to my game. So like you can have unofficial stuff added. Um, that's how all of the, like, After Dark games function. Um, they're taking that concept and saying... Sure. Oof. They're taking that and saying, like, what if we... Um, what if we make it so that, like, you can just put a URL in here and it'll look up all the games listed under that URL. Basically an app store to say, hey, what's compatible? What can I play? Um... And out of it makes here. a lot of fun shenanigans possible. Um, especially since a lot of the licensing issues that prevent a number of games from being added oh, almost no, completely go you. away at that point. Please don't tell me I have to fight you now. Uh... <laughs> One Fuck's hit sake, point. Game. One hit point. Yeah, it's all that coming. Getting getting a logic working for a randomizer is one of the harder parts of it. Like, there, there are effectively three parts to getting a randomizer working. Um, one is getting oh, the, like, good. core, this is how you randomize shit, um, logic functioning. Um, which Archipelago does for all of the games that integrate with it, which solves a lot of problems. Um, the second is getting the, um, the logic for the game mapped out and planned out saying like i can get to this location if i have uh hookshot and bomb shoes or if i have light arrows or if i happen to have goron mask and three hearts 
or whatever combination of stuff there is. Um, the logic is a huge part of the game because you have to know the game in order to build that logic. Um, and you have to test it a lot because you will make mistakes when you're doing that. Um, like play test it specifically. And then the very technical part, this is the third part, you have to make it so that the game can actually be randomized and that you can read the randomization state back or like add stuff in. So for standalone randomizers, this isn't that hard. Like you just modify the, the ROM or the ISO to say like, this item is now over here. This item is now over here. You get this when you do this thing. Um, so it's not that hard. The, the more interesting thing is when you start dealing with archipelago randomizers, because now you need to start doing network calls. <laughs> um, and that gets very fun very fast. Are you um, using fun so, in the literal term or the sarcastic term? Uh, in the oh. predominantly sarcastic term, but I'm also a programming masochist, so I enjoy that kind of shit. Um, Fair. The... Oh. Um... So yeah, making the network calls out of certain games is... You won't be tested on this, Cartoxin. Um, making network calls out of certain games is really hard. Um, in some games, it's literally impossible. Thankfully, we have wrappers for the emulators. <laughs> and BizHawk is very good at what it does. <laughs> um, but for Minute, um, which was Game & Game Maker, I know this very well because my friend developed the randomizer for it, um, what they did is um, he hooked into the game's one minute loop that happens. And so whenever you respawn, that's when everything gets unlocked for you. So if you get an item, it gets unlocked at the minute mark, which is real fun. Um, at least this is the initial design. I don't remember if this got changed. Um, and then on the way back, um, whenever he unlocked something, well, he could just tap into the call of, hey, you unlocked a thing, good job. Um, and that then he could send the request out. The hard thing about the way Minute worked is it's on such an old version of Game Maker that we didn't have access to all the required network calls, so we had to build a proxy into the client. So we basically had to reach out to... Um, what? to the archipelago client every time we wanted to um say hey unlock this item for someone saying hey i'm doing a one-time request go do this thing please and then the client would do all of the other normal shit that it was supposed to all right i got the two books i need this time so now i just gotta make sure i get Yay. out of here live just, it's gonna be easier said than done i'll be right back go for it you guys first before I go and get the health to hopefully put myself back at full. Damn it. Which wasn't so hard to aim this thing, because if they hit me when I'm throwing the, the bowling ball, I, it just... I waste the shot. So I'm going to try to bait them. There we go. Most rando nice. work on a sphere system where uh, each sphere must contain at least one item that lets you access the next sphere. Each sphere being a pool of items made of useful and mostly useless items. Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing an archipelago with some subs for a stream? With subs? No. Um, getting it's it organized with the mods is kind of a pain in the ass sometimes if we're being real. That's why Frank usually handles that. It has been discussed by the mods to potentially have a way of doing a sub-server archipelago async, but it would not be a stream predominantly. Like, it could be, Asyncs take it, a while. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be a stream, and with that many people, you have no choice but to do an async, because the more people you add, the easier it is for someone to get blocked by someone else's item. Um... So it, it becomes a bit of a a bit of a track. <laughs> so but what I'm getting from Deep's tangent is that Ape Archipelago is making it easier for games to be uh, in beta to be added in. It, it's making games 
easier to add in in general. Like, regardless of the state they're in, regardless of whatever randomizers exist for them, it's making it possible to just make so much more shit for randomizers. Um, I have genuinely considered um, figuring out how to get Twilight Princess into AP once the App Store is done. Because the, twi the existing Twilight Princess randomizers, and I think the Metroid Prime randomizers for that matter, um, they both operate on licenses that are technically incompatible with Archipelago. It's all open source, but open source licensing is a pain in the ass. <laughs> It's not fine, right? Yeah, it's not yes. fine. Did I... Is there a left option up here? No. Okay, perfect. Then we don't need to worry about it. Yeah. The the way the Archipelago server does their asyncs is actually pretty smart. Um, they, they basically have, like, a time limit where it's like, hey, if you are expected to check in once every X days, and if you don't check in... Off. Oh my god, these things are annoying! Oh God! If you don't check in after someone's pinged you to say, "Hey, you have my item," I should just um, use the cookie. I should just fucking use the invincibility cookie. Ugh. You can request to an admin that they release your game. So, Samaria, so the issue is less the GameCube emulation part. Like hooking Lua into Dolphin is trivial. Um, the issue is each game you oh, have to reverse no. engineer. No, no, not the entire Why? thing slows you down. That's Why? horseshit. God, no. Ugh. What's the one that attacks everyone? Magical seeds. I need the crusty cookie too. I need. Oh, I didn't. Did I get the effect? I did. Okay, good. I don't. Oh, you I did. did. I okay. did. Yeah. Problem is, I'm not gonna know when it's gonna wear off. Oh. It wore off. But yeah, with with Wind Waker, um, it's great that that's getting in because that is actually technically a framework of the the client of like saying, hey, this is doing all the things that I need inside of Dolphin. Um, but a lot of the DPS, hard DPS, work, DPS, DPS rates, we're losing the DPS come on, come on. We lost ah. the DPS rates. It's over. Um, the the hard thing is looking at um the memory and in in the game and saying when this piece of memory in the save or when this piece of memory in the <sighs> fuck. um the game state is flipped that's when a new item has been retrieved so like watching the memory is the harder part of everything yeah i'm fucking late i'm always late oh i can't skip this because it's my technically my first time reading the dialogue interesting Oh, fun. Um, thankfully, the... Um, my understanding is the Twilight Princess reverse engineer is quite far along. Um, similarly to the... Um, Metroid Prime one, so they have most of that mapped out already. You just have to know what you're looking for. Unfortunately, the Thousand Year Door one uh, is nowhere near far enough along, and the way that game is programmed is hyperlinear. You would have to reprogram so much of that game. Paper Mario 64 is programmed in a very, very randomizerable way, however. fucking situation that we're in. So we know we have to defeat the boss. We know there's two items we need to pick up. And we know that the boss can actually slow down our physical movement, so running is not an option. I think we are in a DPS race. Which is horrifying to think about. The web, you shouldn't be slowed down. Apparently. I mean, I figured that much out, but it looks like it seems to be a homing type of shot. I thought it was just going straight down, and the spider is just obnoxious and getting directly above you to shoot it straight down. But... And then I mean, once you're slowed down, guess what's trivial to do? Yeah. Get above you and slow you down again. 
You haven't failed, John. You just found two non-working strategies to fight the spider boss. I mean, does the, the first one doesn't even count. The first attempt, I had one, like, and a half a hit point. Well, that was, was the strategy was... of finding it, which means that one was successful. <laughs> I guess by that logic. Hey, Torchic, how you doing? Good shot there. Nice. Oh. Aw. Oh. Alright, that's both books. Damn. Well, we have full health, so I don't need to go into the healing room. It can sometimes clear gaps and sometimes can't. It depends on where in the arc it is. It seems weirdly selective at times, though. Fuckers! None of you drop health because of course you don't. That would be helpful. <sighs> and you guys, I forget if you even do. It feels like you don't have a chance of doing it. Yeah, Maniko, you you definitely got that name wrong. <laughs> It's Zeos, not Diaz. You know what I haven't checked, actually? Hang on a second. No. What about here? No, damn it, oh, that almost looks like a door. Oh. What's up? Oh, my browser decided to lose connection to the GoCom feed. Oh, yo, Zeos, you're playing Tomba? About... Fuck yeah. I was about to say, we should go ping to my own and see if there's any issues with the, uh... GoCom feed? Yeah. <laughs> with the GoCom feed? <laughs> Hey, tomorrow you want to ping some oil for us? <laughs> Looks like it just came back by itself. It did. Oh, fuckers. Oh, I got the other one. No way. All right. Well, there's only one left. Maybe I can actually get to the. Mmm. Oh, you are hell bent on getting me. All right. A lot more health this time. Third time's a charm. Oh, that shot goes very far, very fast. But it does go just straight down. Oh, he moves stupidly fast. I might actually go for the DPS rush strat before I get put down to red. Which I, means I, I should feel do like it now. That's fair. Oh, I ate the cookie. Good. It's gone. Cookie number two. Okay. 
Got it. Nice. I feel like the kiting with the bowling ball did a lot as well. Yeah, because the, the bowling ball, as far as I'm aware of, does blue lightning damage, so. Mm. <sighs> Professor's Quest had a sequel? I mean, not the same devs. And now we're out of the place, so. So the baby's clearly not here. I'm a dumbass. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. Wait, no, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. Good, I'm not a dumbass, thank God. I have inconvenienced myself minorly, but... Every enemy I've killed stayed dead. So you don't have to go through and refight the boss. No. Thankfully. Did my first CV person. Congratulations, Fennec. Hell yeah. I think I left the third guy. Yeah, oh. I did, unfortunately. So I'm taking that hit. Followed by a fuck you bowling ball to the face. No, I wasn't sure if it had sent me into a different room or not. So I was like, I should check that teleporter. Completely forgetting. Yeah, it's one way. So, there we go. We're done with the morgue. And we got a health extension. We got two books we can give to Granny now. I assume both are going to Granny. At least one is food based, which means it's probably for the last cookie type. I will miss the morgue music. The morgue music was pretty good. Ah, oh, she got the hit. Flying one could be for the vulture? Uh, mm, I wonder. Well, I gotta go tell the vulture's name first. Shit. Uh, we still have whole an extra path we haven't done here yet. Two paths we haven't done here yet. Shit. What's that beating? Oh, wait. <laughs> what happened? I am so sorry, guys. I found out why the stream, the Cocom feed, has been restarting. Schedule maintenance. I have the server set to, I have the server set to UTC, not Mountain. Oh. Something else was supposed to happen. 8 a.m. Mountain was happening at 8 a.m. UTC, which is, uh, which is five minutes ago. Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking time zones. Let me move that by about six hours. I was wondering why it seemed so consistent that it was happening the way it was happening. Well, it doesn't help that as far as that as well as I haven't been staying up as late. So I haven't been up this late for a while. <laughs> but yeah, it was updating the SSL cert. Oh. Uh... Wait, do you ever run that on a daily basis? Yeah, sir, but actually does it. It shouldn't actually be restarting the server. I'm going to have to figure out why it's doing that. It's only mm. supposed to restart the server if it actually updates a certificate. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's a semicolon, not a double am. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I can't turn on the ice, so I can't actually... Oh, man. Little things here, huh? That'll help, too. Now it won't be restarting it daily. <laughs> oh, did they announce the Pokemon Presents? Finally? Now they announced the Nintendo Direct, or the Partner Showcase, rather? Shit. 
I can't. Oh my god, please. Turning is very mad when you're on the ice. Shit. Those are very killer snowballs. Yeah. Problems. All right. Eyes! Fucker. It's almost at this point, you're hoping you just get to the next area just to die. And I can't. Uh. That's probably what I need the potion of flying for. Look, you guys can drop health. I really need you to right now. I don't know how that missed, but I'm taking it. Nope. Didn't they just announce yet another Gen 2 remake? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and dead. How far back? I would really appreciate actually being put in front of the morgue. Yes! We have both the books. We are set. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because we know that path is useless to us currently. We can just completely ignore everything we did up there. Glad I leave all clearing all the fun games to John. Yo, I am having fun with this. It's just there are some there are some moments where I'm just like, what were they thinking? Sorry, I gotta say like AVGN. What were they thinking? Decisions were made. Come on, come on, get him. Thank you. Hey, health! After they took two. Just imagine if the books disappearing meant you had to fight the boss all over again. Yeah, hard pass, but at least that means I would have had some of my cookies back. Okay, so there is still one path I haven't done in this area because it branches out four different ways. So, actually five if you look at the map. One piece just kind of fades off. It's the one that goes down to the right I haven't seen. Penguins, maybe? Ooh. This leads up to there, so we've already done that. So let's go down and see if we have a staircase. Because a staircase might lead us to somewhere new, or it might be a shortcut. Which I'm really hoping for shortcut right now. Oh, those guys are new over to the left. Hey, staircase. And that put us in an area of the Rockies we haven't been in before. Okay. dizzying here. One of these leads to a whole different zone, too. I'm actually betting on that cave being the way to, to the new zone. Back in the ice area? Wait, I'm just back here? Oh my god, it was just another way to get back there. Are you kidding me? 
son of a bitch. But at least they gave us some health. It's the way we came in, right? So. Yeah. It's just a shortcut. It's, it's not even a shortcut. Like, it's a dead end, if anything. So the real question has become now, how the fuck do I get out of this area? <laughs> uh... I gotta get that bridge passed down there. That's how we got in. Assuming we're done in the ice fields, I can't see what else they would want me to do in this area at this point. Oh boy, no, don't lose everything here, dude. You are done here, Pegasus. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so what are our options right now? We can go find things, because we have the key we need to get in there. Um, We can go put in the spider eye in the graveyard. We have to find Morticia, because apparently we can get a health extension or something if we find her, but I have no idea where the fuck she is right now. We've got options. The problem is they're just not clear. Oh, and the vulture. Right, the vulture. And probably actually getting a uh, flying potion from somewhere. The real problem is I don't remember where the vulture was. think someone said the vulture was in near the entrance to dungeon six. Problem is I also don't remember where that was. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have zero idea what this map is doing. I have not been able to follow it. The map is a little annoying to follow, I'm not gonna lie. And that little's doing a lot of lifting, but <laughs> Down there. It's in your heart, dear John. Oh wow, well thank you. That's that's very helpful. Good news, we're back in Dungeon 6. The bad news is I still don't know how the fuck to get back to it. Because he the one we need to go to is the one directly above us, but that exit is blocked. So I don't know what exit we need. The only other one I can think of is the one up in the top middle. It's the only other option at this point, I guess. Shockwave? I don't know if Shockwave will, like, open that up. As And that, like, that cost me half health, and I have no good method of healing at the moment. I don't want to just willy-nilly use Shockwave. No, it won't. Okay. Still wish I also knew how to get those healing items right there. I guess that's probably Potion of Flying, if I had to guess. And now that we know it exists, that does make a lot of sense. Oh, thank you. No, 
this dead end. Actually, wait, doesn't this lead to a teleporter? Uh, no, this is where we got the magnet. No, wait, one of those is teleporter. Go back. Wasn't that? I think I'm pulling that out of my ass again. Uh. Yep, yeah, never mind. fucking found her way out of here. Because <laughs> there's this bullshit. That leads left. That is the direction I want. But isn't the way I'm going here also a dead end? Ah, crap. Yeah, because this teleporter doesn't work. That was where he turned around. Our one dog, thank you for the raid. One of these days you'd think I would actually make this so much easier to find than it actually is. Back in the ice area, in an area that has no escape. Oy, oy, oy. Have the directions if you want them. Peggy, I may need them momentarily. Give me another minute, because there's really only one last path to go at this point. map system seems annoying at best. Eh. It's legible. <laughs> Which one was the one that worked? There we go. Okay, and that puts us... Mm, this sucks, because this puts me where I want to be, but I can't. Also, you know, the fucking invisible ass maze. Ah, oh, that's the door I want to fucking use, but I can't. Four. There it is. Because this led to an item and it was also a teleporter, I think. Full heal. Oh, and a doorway. That's what it did. This is where we found an item. That thing in the middle is a teleporter. I'm 
There we go. Okay. And that put us... Perfect. This is actually where we need to be. Thank God. Okay. Has Bagel, if you don't mind asking, he is... Not down here at the moment, actually. I think he's upstairs, hopefully, sleeping with Reese. Hopefully. Do you take so many goddamn hits? Oh, they're wondering the same thing. Still pals with speeds? Hell yeah. Glad to hear that. And there's a vulture. Rimble. Hmm? Your name, you're called Rimble. Rimble? That's a stupid name, not very vultry at all. I thought it would be something along the lines of Talon or Fang. Vultures don't have fangs. In any ways, it says you're called Rimble on your mailbox, so Rimble it is. Rimble it is, then, I suppose. Oh, well, I don't suppose you could help me to fly again, could you? Oh. Rimble, 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 Rimble. Oh, hello, Fester. Just trying to remind myself what I call what I'm called. What's this? A flying book. For me? Flap. Oh, that feels good. Flap, flap. Yes, it's coming back to me now. Flap, flap, flap. It's working. Flap, 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 flap. Thank you, Fester. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Uh, what was the point of that? <laughs> What did that get us? Do we have to go back I, to his mailbox? I really, really hope that doesn't open up something somewhere else, but that's probably what it does. Sigh. The bushes will be a path later? What? Oh my god, really? Well, let's see if we can give this a kickstart. Let's leave the zone and come back. When I said this game made choices, I wasn't kidding. That's never a good one where you open a, you can open a path early and not realize you opened it, so you explore, think there's nothing there. You don't have a reason to go back to it? Especially because this part feels pretty fucking out of the way. Let's get you stomachs. There we go. <laughs> now that's how you add hours to a game's lifespan. Yeah, you ain't kidding there. Jesus. It's, yeah, no, we just gotta come back later at some point. Okay. Neato burrito. Well, let's, um... Let's do literally anything at this point. <laughs> Walkthrough saying you should find Grandma now. Okay, well, I know where she is, at least. I just gotta get to her. Not an option. Okay. Oh yeah, I never tried this. Not correct. Not correct. You think it would have been the stone key that literally made the most sense. I think I already tried the other three. So we have two keys left. One of the two unlocks this. It's somehow it's not the one literally called the stone key, which blows my mind. 
It's probably gonna be called the bush key or like the mountain key or something like that at this point. The rocky key. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna be the rocky key. Okay, cool. All right, so now I know where we are. Let's get back to Cousin It. Damn it. The worst part is this game, because it's very non-linear, if someone felt like porting it, it would be a good game to randomize. Ugh. I don't, think, I don't think this game has enough of a following. Like I said, I, it feels like a cult classic at times, but other times I'm just like, oh god, I can see why this didn't quite catch on. It's one of those games that could be like, if you gave it a balancing patch, a director's cut, it would actually be pretty good. And randomizer is kind of the opposite of that. <laughs> Usually. Yeah. Like, on, honestly, one of the things about developing randomizers is that, at least for the um, logic side, every game is going to have a speedrunning community that you can reference. You every just... single game is going to have a speedrunning community. You've shown me this game is nearly three times as long as I thought it was as a kid. Amazing. <laughs> well, this will be a quick, easy game. Uh... That's, like I said, I'm shocked at how much effort they clearly put into this game. I just wish that, like, it 100% stuck the landing. Although I will admit, I am surprised at how much of this map layout I fucking remember. Despite a lot of it being very... Let's say garbled. <laughs> Every game has a speedrunning community. Followed by Torchix. And if it doesn't have a speedrunning community, it will eventually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There will eventually be someone crazy enough to learn everything there is to know about any particular what game. What is the speedrun for this game? What's the length of it? Uh, according to speedrun.com, 49 minutes. Cool! There's a Mario is Missing AP in beta that has custom questions that can be related to the other games being played in the sync. Wow. This person also did a 100% in an hour and 43. Damn. All right, so Grandma should be just up here, I believe. So we'll get At least her. you can get your cookies refilled? True. Well, maybe. Because here's the thing. Every time I have a new recipe book, she tends to go somewhere else. Mm. And not give me cookies. So, the guy that has the records for Adam Fansley Values found a way to do arbitrary code execution. Ah, uh, nice. And he's able to do a credits work. So that's how Very he nice. got the any percent. Yeah, the glitch as I saw, someone said was an hour and a half, which is still really fucking fast. Get yeah, and that's... Slow the character walks. Only 10 minutes faster than his 100% run. What? <laughs> I made these cookies. Oh, it's still the same ones. Good, good. Give me those cookies, please. Grandma, do you not want the new book? Um. Do I have to present the book to her? Is this not for her? Right. What? Um.
at least your cookies are refilled? Yeah, I'm not complaining about that. Oh, you know what? I probably have to find... I have to find Thing first. I bet you I have to find Thing first. I've been doing stuff semi out of order. Here's the problem, though. It's 1.30. The jingle technically went off. Do we want to keep playing for a tiny bit longer, or are we going to peace out? Have we done art block today? Um, yes. Yes. Our Sorry, block I just has remember if we did one block. picture in it currently. Okay, it's short. So our block's not an issue. I guess the question is how far is Think? No, Peggy, we did Dungeon 5. We just did shit was really, really out of order. Was Dungeon 5 the one that you said we shouldn't go to yet? Uh-oh, shit. Which key did he give me? I thought it was that one. Motherfucker, I thought I tried the stone key last time I was... Oh, whatever. The stone gardens, you meant not just five. Yeah, no, no, we did not do stone gardens. So, this is the question. Because right now, we're maybe four screens away from going to get our password. Should we go get the password? Or should we find... I would... Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get the password. <laughs> it's a good thing I thought to press the map button. <laughs> I'm out of here. So what zones do we even have left at this point? The Stone Garden. Do, do we want to go see what the fuck that spider statue does before we leave? Because I, I gotta admit, I'm pretty fucking curious. It's not too far away from Cousin It. Might as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Alright, so we'll check that, and then we'll go back and check in with it and get our password. So we'll play for a couple extra minutes then. See how long it takes. Timer back on. Spider Fester, Spider Fester. To, to summarize what I my, my very long discussion about save passwords earlier, um, in old games, they don't have the kind of storage that you need to save on cart. And so they fake a save by giving you a string of text that you can put back in later that will get you exactly where you need to be. Exactly where you were. It's a save password. Yeah. And they were developed before the NES really kind of got big, it was back in the Atari days. They actually started figuring that out as a save system. So. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any Atari yeah. games with passwords, though. I sh should have been in that era. At least not 2600. Oh. Are you thinking Atari computer? I might be thinking of a video more than just one. I keep forgetting that there's a lot of Ataris. There are a lot of Ataris. Or companies didn't want to pay extra for safe batteries. Yeah. Fennec, you're, you're alright, man. Don't, wor don't worry about it. I completely forgot that happened. So don't worry. Oh, Fatal Run for the Atari 2600 had a... Did it? Did it? They look like cheat codes, but there is actual, like, first, fi first, fifth, final checkpoints, which are actually just coded. And looking at this, this is 
definitely that early system of encoding data. Alright, let's see what this does. Huh? Hmm, I have a sudden urge to put this old eye into that hole. Well, what do you know? It fits perfectly. Yeah, it did like no oh it did something, never mind. Hello? Thank you for finding and replacing the lost eye of my statue. Accept my blessings. Oh, he healed me. Um That's it. Is that actually all it does? Check inventory. The eye's gone. Uh, well, that's a little disappointing, but still helpful at least. Is that really all it does? I wonder if the spider will show up in random places now. That'd be very helpful, but this is the only place I feel like he seemed to show up. Damn it. These are the sections from the walkthrough we have left. Stone Garden, Return to the Brown Lagoon, The Beginning of the End, Dungeon Number 7, and Debbie Jelinski's Mansion. So we've still got a decent... Like, that could probably take all of another stream still. By the sounds of it. Damn it. I'm gonna... Grind off of a couple of the. Oh, I guess the, the gnomes are in the next area. They'll probably drop one. They've been pretty good for drops. So the takeaway here is that, like, we still have options on what to do. Well, actually, let's think about it. So we need to find Morticia somewhere. We have no idea where the heck she is. Inventory-wise, what have we not used? We still haven't used the music box. And the gold coin. We have to go find Thing, because we have to do stone gardens. And I assume from there, we'll just figure out where to go next. Head to the greenhouse, stopping on the way to give Morticia puberty, Pubert's headless teddy. Oh, she's back in the fucking greenhouse? I guess she's still on that wall, then. I swear I walked by there and I didn't see her there. do that before we stop, because I'm not sure if I'm going to remember that for next time. God damn it. Give Morticia puberty? I think it's a bit late for that. Fuck it. We're like five screens away. I haven't noted down. As a trans gal, it's never too late for second puberty. You know, I hear that. I hear that a lot. Can you drop the health I need? No, no one wants to drop their damn skull. Come on. Well, you're just too powerful. You're blowing up the skulls. 
I mean, you know, technically, if I'm electrocuted in the death, then yeah, that's probably actually accurate. Stone Gardens are right next to Morticia as well. I mean, we're like, we're like, if she's next to the greenhouse, we're only like a screen or two away from her. Yeah, if she's on the same ledge, she should be directly above me right now. But she does not seem to be there. So go towards the greenhouse. Let's just assume that means in the actual greenhouse area. Hey, full health. Are you surprised an Adam's Family game is very kooky? I mean, not really. I just wish it was a bit more... ...comprehensible. Okay, not at the greenhouse. And Peggy, where does it say exactly that she is? Your next stop is the Wishing Well. Head to the greenhouse, stopping on the way to give Morticia... Uh... Oh, right. There's a fucking well down here. I forgot about this. Shall I throw the coin down the well? I now have a sack of gold. Okay. Well, that's useless. I'd rather have a sack of rocks. Head to the greenhouse, stop it on the way to give Morticia. But head from where? Well, I'll, oops, damn it. Give me my skull back. Well, I'll check up here again in case she is still up in the same spot. But it sounds like she might actually be a zone over. Yeah, because this is where she was last time. Well, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the transwarp. Transwarp will lead me back to cousin it. And then we'll stop there. If we get lucky and we see more tissue along the way, then we take it. But if not, then we're sol. All she's supposed to be where she was when we gave her the rattle. Oh god. So we basically just fucked the order. Basically, is what it sounds like. Accidental sequence breaking? It's more likely than you think. Especially in an open world game. Especially with John. with reference to breaking things, I'm pretty sure both Tomoyo and myself have said multiple times to John, how did you manage to do that <laughs> when referring to something of ours that he broke? It's a, it's a gift. It's a living. I got nothing here.
If I could explain my glitch aura, I would fucking either monetize it or learn how to turn it off. So well, I can you sleep are at night. It. What? You are monetizing it. I mean, technically. I don't know if there's any other way you can monetize it than just. I mean, uh, be, literally it. be like a, a like a bug tester at that point. And be like, all right, hand me your thing. I will break it to pieces in ways you did not expect or imagine. Yeah, you would be uh, very much the person that when they're bug testing the bar, they do all these crazy things, and you're just the one that goes to the bathroom and crashes the game. Yep. That's me jumping in the corner of a random room, causing the entire game to decompile. Here, John is the Murphy's Law of Games, like how Bagel is the Murphy's Law of Cats. John walks into a bar and orders zero beers. The bar catches on fire. There you go. Telling me a bald man in a wheelchair hasn't approached you about joining a school? No. Not at all. Alright, let's write down this password. Learn how to use it for evil. I mean good. Yeah, 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 use it for good. Jesus. <laughs> That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Light destroying another game. Trying to pick up the pieces, and I don't know if I can do it. Oh God, this password is long. I'll go and write it down. All right. 4XCN53HNCCF-H5RJ. I assume that's a W. Uh, Y L V B P N. No, oh, my getting pinged on. Oh, Bubba took a picture of it. That also works. Uh, I just write it down in the spreadsheet. Four X C N five three H N C C F. H5R, JWY, LV, BPN. Cool, got it. Perfect. Well, that, folks, that's going to be the stream for the most part. We do have a quick moment to uh, quickly pop the art block. I got one picture there. But Dill for 26 and Amelia Fade for 33. Thanks for the subs. Appreciate, as always. Here's your egg. You will give me an Give me a lady. Do it now. Schedule for the week, folks. It's just the standard schedule this week. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Wednesday's stream is Power Trip, because we did not get to do that last week. And Saturday's Fortune Cookie. Subs! Are we doing... I guess I should ask Tamoyo. Are we doing the thing on Friday? We're able to do it. All right. Uh, we'll probably do a movie night on Friday night, then. We're going to watch Nightmare on Elm Street. So that is that for subs. That'll get a proper announcement probably tomorrow or Wednesday in the sub server. Uh, what time do we normally do movie nights? Is that six mountain? Seven? Sounds good. I, I honestly don't remember because it has been a long time. It's been like, God, what was it? It's been years? a long time. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I still have the files from before and it was it was a date <laughs> alright well uh, yeah look forward to that Saturday's fortune cookie Wednesday's power trip and next week on Monday we beat this game I assume I hope it won't take a fourth stream but there you go one piece in our block and 
If you weren't here earlier, this will make zero fucking sense. I think even with context, it almost doesn't make any sense, but, you know. It's Pluto getting shot in the ass by chat. With compliments. Ah, I can't handle- I can't handle people being nice to me, chat! And the egg packer bullying me by being nice. Don't believe Trans Gwender, she's lying. I'm not nice, I'm mean and rude in real life. As much as I joke, it's nice, nice being appreciated, especially when I wasn't expecting it. I've had tons of fun in the community, and it's honestly quite strange that my name has become semi-well-known. Like when some of my shenanigans appear on the Buru, and people oftentimes just go, Pluto. To be honest, I've had a rough, like, past four years, and it seems I've gotten wor to get worse whenever it looks to get better, so it's nice to just have a place that I can be happy and appreciated. Also, I know sometimes I can be a bit much, so I appreciate everyone's patience with me when I get a bit out of hand. Especially you, John. You deserve a Mom of the Year award for putting up with me specifically. But all I can afford is a mug, so I'll be bringing you a number one mom mug when I see you at PAX West. I'm gonna hold you to that. I want that number one mom mug. It'll go great with the best fucking Kirby dad mug I have, too. So, there we go. I can be mom and dad. Thank you, Pluto. Sorry about your butt. Folks, what's our raid message? You sure can, John. You sure can. Thank you. Get bapped for raid message using the new emote. That'd be a cute one. Uh, but that only works for subs, obviously. Do you have a number one dad mug? Just wondering if you're doing a bit or not. I actually do have a best fucking Kirby dad mug. I, I've i shown pictures of this before. Ikaro gave this for me. I got this at MAGFest. Uh, boop. Just to show I'm not lying. Best fucking Kirby dad. Just keep it right here on my desk. You know, never know when you need it. It's got, it's got paper in it right now, so probably don't want to drink that. The cat one out is kind of cute. What? The hashtag cat one out. Cat one out? Yeah, actually, maybe that's the one we go with. Cat one out. You don't want to drink paper? No, not normally. Can't really think of a, a situation where I've wanted to. You should work on getting a best uncle mug too, and an aunt one. Go for the whole collection. <laughs> Get a row of mugs. Best dad, best mother, best aunt, best uncle. I think when we first met up to start TRG, I was gifted a number one grandma or grandpa keychain. I forget which it is at this point. Probably grandpa, but... Uh, let's see here. Jumney's live, but we raided them the other day. Paul's playing Final Fantasy 16, but he seems pretty far in it. Uh, Shrum's playing Final Fantasy 3 for the first time, but he's decently far if he's level 40. Eleanor's playing Super Mario Bros. 1. And it looks like he... Ross is doing art. And Mari's just chatting. Well, yeah, we haven't read Mari in a while. Mari's watching TikToks. Oh no. Actually, the hair is kind of giving me. Alright, let's tell Mari that Cat wants out. If you have the emote, feel free to use the emote if you do not. It's okay. Well, let's go tell Mari that Cat wants out. I do not have Foxy Grandpa. No, sorry. John, I'm gonna get you a number one mom mug and a number one aunt wine glass. Okay, that would be really funny. And I kind of want that. I don't even fucking drink wine. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot of them. What does this mean? Cat okay, wants what out. Is green grunge. Can Cat we wants out. Green grunge. Cat oh wants my out. God, it's Proton John. 
Hey! <laughs> I love her so much. Can you tell Proton John something for me? Oh no. Can you tell him? Uh, wait, hold on. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> what is that picture? <laughs> what are these things she's showing? <laughs> Can you tell him I said hi? From Mari Mari underscore M. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> tell no, Mari I say hi John, back, please. He he does raids like wait, how do I explain it? Alright, he's folks, like a, I'm out. a ghoul. He's like a ghoulish ghoul and he likes to um <laughs> It's kind of like a like like. Mari is amazing. Wait, how do I explain? He goes. He he looks at. Me. He I looks think she's trying to like explain that I'm old. I like think like she's just know? trying to explain that I'm so old. It's, it's like double, right? Because you guys look at me, and then he looks at you. And then it's like a double fishbowl, and I'm in the fishbowl, and there's a bigger fishbowl that you guys are in. And then you're in that fishbowl, and he's looking at us both through both fishbowls. I love Mari so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, All right. I hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing okay. I I'm out. saw, I think... I'm out, folks. Twitter, I'll see you on... on a lot uh, of stress. But I'll see don't you on worry. Wednesday. There we go. Bye, everybody. I hope you're okay. Yeah. So he's old. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ma Luigi, for going in and saying that. Jesus Christ. I didn't say Proton John is old. When does he make his account? He heard that. I didn't. I didn't call him old. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't call him old. Who said that? Who said I didn't hear old? So John is young then. Oh, that pause. Oh, that pause. Oh, that pause hurts. Have you ever seen Sonic and Mario get crushed in a hydraulic press before? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody!